welcome guys to the google ads mastery course in this course we will talk about uh, google ads uh, search ads google display ads google remarketing and google shopping ads optimization and secret tips to control the google ads costing and increase the roi as well so this is the first module in which we will talk about google ads basics in which uh, we will talk about uh, what is google ads uh, how adwords uh, auction works and how targeting and budget control Uh, will work and how we can structure ad account as well how we can structure our campaigns as well uh, which uh, campaign type we have to select and uh, some terminologies which uh, we need to know about uh, google ads so let's start the video uh, first of all we know we need to know about what is google ads google ads is an online advertising platform developed by google obviously that is developed by google where advertise pay to display brief advertisement service offering product listing video content and generate mobile application installs within the google ad network to web users and this pay per click of google is called google adwords pay per click of facebook is called adwords facebook adwords and there are four types of advertising methods in google advertising which are search ad advertising display network advertising mobile network advertising video youtube advertising and retargeting as well the, we need to differentiate between the advertising methods and campaign types there are multiple types of campaign and uh, recently i to told you that uh, these are the advertising methods like search display remarketing video and all these uh some terminologies we need to know about like uh, what is cpc cpc is cost per click like uh, what we are going to pay to google from one click to our ads and what is acpc that is average cost per click that uh, you are putting uh, multiple keywords and uh, you are getting average cpc uh, from those multiple keywords that is uh, your average cpc and what is tcpc that is total cost per click what is imp impressions and views impressions are called uh, called in uh, google search campaigns and views are called in uh, your display campaigns video campaigns as well what is ctr ctr stands through click through rate and uh, which is defined by click divided by impressions multiplied by 100 that is your ctr in percentage form like uh, uh 100 people are seeing my ads and one person is clicking on my ad that is 1% ctr and ctr should not be below 1% if ctr is below 1% that means you are not uh, uh planning with the go, go, good ads and good keywords as well you are your campaign is not stuck, uh, well structured your keywords are uh, not well to defined and relevant and what is quality score quality score is a score given to every keyword from 1 to 10 higher score reduces our bid per click and better position in search engine quality score depends upon landing page quality relevance and ads and keyword relevancy as well good ctr already affects quality score like if your ctr is very good like if your ctr is between 2 to 3% that mean your quality score will be very good uh in previous year like in 2019 quality score was defined between 1 to 10 and uh, uh, 1 means that lowest quality score and 10 means the highest quality score 10 means that uh, your ad is relevant most relevant and your keywords are most relevant your ending page experience is most relevant to the advertisers and audience as well quality score be, uh, below 3 will stop your ads like uh, quality score below 3 will get uh, low uh, less impressions and less clicks as well and quality score above 5 that will be your uh, average and uh, above 7 that is your uh, above average quality score and what is ad rank ad rank is like a bid amount into quality score is quality uh, ad rank like uh, uh, my quality score is 7 and my i am bidding on particular keyword is like uh, 1 rupee and uh, that is my ad rank 7 multiplied by 1 that is one ad rank and ad rank is the most important key factor in defining our ads position and uh, getting traffic as well getting our ads visible on the google ads network more relevancy now 
uh, like what uh, which type of keywords we have to select uh, since we are doing adverts uh, uh, ppc program most of us know keyword selection if not then attend the uh, keyword research uh, uh, section in the next module as well like uh, in ppc in google adverts keywords uh, research is the most important factor like if you are not putting the right keywords that mean your traffic is going to be waste you are you are getting uh, audience uh, with the wrong uh, search terms you are getting audience with the wrong perspective and that results into your drastic roi and drastic wastage of money on google ads criteria of selecting google ads for uh, customer looking for something new like uh, uh first of all uh, like we will take an example of digital camera uh there are uh, four types of keyword selections product type keywords like digital camera for uh, keywords like digital camera slr camera branded uh, related keywords like company names like kodak camera canon camera nikon camera feature related keywords that is kids camera 8 megapixel camera pink camera that are feature related keywords service related keywords like free shipping digital camera camera review that are the service related and informational and review purpose keywords selecting ppc keywords is the most important and uh, i am putting pressure on keywords like uh, keyword is the most important factor to select your ads relevant if your keyword is uh, uh, relevant to the ads that mean your uh, quality score will be good and if your quality score will be good your ctr will be very good and your ctr is good that mean your quality score is also good and the quality score defines the ad rank and your bid amount like if your quality score is good you will need to pay less amount of money to the google ads for clicking on your ads criteria of selecting keywords for customer looking for digital camera like we are, i have already told you these about and uh, now for selecting campaigns we need to consider few things like uh, there are specific country city selections we need to like we were targeting usa campaigns usa audience and uk audience and canada audience then we need to separate campaigns for each targeting it's like because that uh, in in each country there will be specific uh, competition and there will be specific keyword bidding for that particular keyword the particular uh, campaigns as well particular audience as well yeah, like uh, if i take example in uk for digital camera there will be around 1 to 2, 2 euro uh, for keyword bid and uh, in U- us and canada there will be around 2 to 3 usd dollar and that is uh, like if you are putting uh, same targeting in one campaign that means uh, you are wasting money you are already paying google ads more for uk audience and for other audience as well like uh, if you are targeting I- india and united states in the same campaign that mean we need two different uh, campaigns for each targeting we can select uh, uh, cities for the uh, campaigns as well like we can uh, create separate campaigns for each cities as well and uh, what are ad groups like i already told you what is campaign campaign is the most uh, uh, outer part of the uh, your advertising platform uh, that you can see on the screen that is campaigns and uh, there are the listed on the campaign video consideration website traffic sales smart video custom that are campaigns in each campaign there are multiple ad groups and each uh, ad groups there are multiple ads as well and in each ad group there are mu- there can be multiple keywords as well there can be multiple negative keywords as well search terms as well and audience as well there are multiple things we need to discuss uh, later uh, first of all we need to about uh, like i already told you campaigns now we will talk about ad groups what is ad group ad group are the part of campaigns like ad, ad group is the uh, campaigns inner part second uh, most out, outer part of the your structure and ad groups are uh, created under campaigns which uh, product categorization or location categorization or specific feature categorization that cannot be changed uh, uh, target countries and cities in ad groups if you if you have selected uh, campaigns uh, settings uh, in the targeting uh, countries and cities then you cannot change in ad groups so targeting can be changed on the campaign le- level only 
and you cannot change ad group budget as well you can bid for specific ad groups like uh, for each keyword say you are putting in one ad group you can change all the keywords by putting one ad group bid but you cannot change budget of ad group as campaigns take care of all that and ad groups are keywords bid can be changed in ad groups like uh, in each ad group there are multiple keywords then keywords bid can be changed in ad groups we can create multiple ads in different ad groups we can create different uh, ad groups in uh, one campaign as well we can give different landing pages in each ads or ad group like in in one ad group we can create only one landing page that need to be considered more important and like we, uh, i want to do uh, i already told you campaigns ad groups and uh, now we will talk about ads ads are the every ad group has ads like uh, ad is the uh, third inner layer of the campaign and you can create multiple ads in every ad group you must create uh, multiple ads to see which uh, ad perform better every ad must have the keywords bidding and targeting of search engine marketing as well now how adword auction works like i will i will show you example like i'm uh, searching for digital camera okay now uh, now my search query is digital camera and uh, i am requesting google's uh, server to show me result for digital camera and uh, it uh, google auction google algorithm will search digital camera related ads and then it will show to my uh, like uh, as you can see on the screen uh, google shows me digital camera related ads and uh, related uh, search search results as well now i will talk about uh, different ads like these are the shopping ads uh, in the right side and uh, there will be search and ads and needs to uh, like yeah these are the search ads that you can see on the screen apple.com i and uh, it's showing iphone se ad search ads and uh, they need to be they, these are the right side display ads these types of uh, ads are search ads and right side are right side ads are dis, uh, shopping ads uh, in shopping ads uh, you can show image ad uh, image and you can show product image you can show your product uh, title description price and brand name as well now the uh, you now you can understand as well how adword auction works like uh, you are bidding for a particular keyword like i am bidding for iphone 8 let's take an example iphone 8 and uh, i am putting iphone 8 uh, bidding like uh, 1 dollar and uh, my quality score will be defined by my ads and keywords and uh, landing page relevancy that means my quality score defines my ad rank and ad rank defines my ad position and by cost to particular that click as well and uh, like uh, your comp uh, competitor has a low quality score and uh, uh, that that is bidding on more uh, amount of a bid that mean and he is uh, promoting to more uh, one uh, one upper ad position as well and uh, now we will talk about how targeting and budget control works like uh, uh, how budget management and targeting works in uh, google ads now you can see uh, you uh, i have uh, i have created this campaign in that uh, i have set the budget to 500 and uh, now you can see there will be one ad group and in that ad group uh, there will be multiple keywords the, like these are the keywords and for these keywords we are uh, i'm bidding amount uh, like uh, i think i have set up the bidding strategy to maximize clicks yeah i can see on the screen now let's talk to okay yeah now you can see in the campaign setting that is the bidding and uh, that is a bidding strategy like i am uh, paying for google to maximize my conversions as per my according to budget 
and i am targeting language hindi and english location india network search network and search partners and these are the end date you can set up and in advanced setting you can track the conversions from your conver uh, setting up the conversion and uh, for conversion setup and tag we will talk about in uh, next videos and that is the ad rotation strategy that means uh, you uh, you can select uh, optimize ad rotation strategy you can select indefinitely rotation strategy you can pay uh, optimize for conversions you can rotate evenly like these are not uh, these are not the supported uh, ad rotation strategy uh, i will prefer go with optimize like uh, i will create uh, two to three ads and in which uh, in uh, those two two to three ads uh, google ads will uh, optimize uh, best performing ads to show uh, to the right audience and that uh, that is how targeting and budget control works now uh, we will talk about structure of account like how we need to uh, structure our campaign how we need to structure our uh, account as well and uh, for that we need to discuss like uh, this is the one campaign for uh, we will talk about the search campaign this is the one campaign website traffic campaign in which you can create uh, at least two ad groups or one ad in ad in one ad group you need to create at least two to three keywords as well that is the best strategy and uh, for each targeting each location you need to create different campaigns like if i am targeting for usa then i will need to create a different campaign for usa and uh, if i am targeting for india that i mean i need to create a different campaign for india and uh, uh, that is the best strategy to use two to three minimum keywords two to three uh, ad groups and uh, in each in each ad group we need to create uh, two to three ads as well and uh, this is the one example demo campaign like uh, this is the example of demo campaign okay now this is like uh, how we need to structure our campaign now we need to discuss about uh, search versus display like which which campaign type we have to select for uh, that de totally depend upon your uh, goal as well like uh, where you are targeting uh, where your audience is like if i am uh, looking for digital camera it can be presented on search network th that your audience can be uh, uh, lend to your website with your search uh, results uh, search ads as well that can lend to your website with display campaign as well that can lend to your uh, or uh, website uh, with shopping campaigns as well that that mean uh, if i am targeting for uh, leads campaign that mean i need to create search campaign or if i am tar uh, i am my goal is preferably specific for uh, each type of business like lead generation then we need to create search campaign with goal call campaigns call only ads as well you need to, uh, you can create that as well like if you if you are having client and you need to uh, generate lead for the, your client you can create search campaign with go call only ads as well you can create search campaign with lead ad extension as well that we need lead ad extension uh, audience will your uh, client uh, your uh, uh, search user will fill up the form name email phone number and all the details and that uh, will submit to your uh, email id and your uh, adverts campaign if you ca if you talk about like uh, 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 my client uh, considers my client or goal is to uh, brand awareness or brand promotion or rep management or like uh, i am not specifically targeting for sales i am not specifically targeting for uh, like leads then you can go for uh, display campaigns as well like in display for display campaigns uh, uh, it is considered that uh, you are uh, getting goal for brand awareness like you are awareing your audience about your ads about your business about your services and all that uh, for display you can uh, go with youtube and you can go with uh, image ads as well uh, for display campaigns uh, it can be special targeting if you have already generated some traffic or uh, 
with your search campaign or any other advertising method like facebook ads and then then you can retarget that traffic to display campaigns to the right audience and uh, you can generate similar audience as well we will talk about uh, later about these display and its separate uh, informations about in later videos now uh, this is the first uh, this was the first video in which uh, we have talked about uh, what is google ads how advert auction works and how targeting the budget control works and how we can structure our account uh, campaigns and uh, ads and uh, which type of campaign type we have to select and some terminology we i have already told you like cpc ecpc tcpc ctr impressions view and all that now let's go to the second video welcome back to the second module in which we will talk about google search ads everything about search ads uh, in this particular video we will talk about uh, what are keywords what are mass types uh, what are search terms uh, what is the negative keywords uh, how it's uh, uh, related to our campaign roi and, and cost cutting and uh, what is called discord that i already told in basic video in previous video and uh, how bidding works and how to write ad copy what are ad extensions and what are keyword intents as well now first of all uh, before creating any campaign we need to set up one particular and most important thing what is that that is convert conversion tag setup now for conversion tag setup we need to click on tools and settings and uh, on the measurement section we need to click on conversions now you need to click on plus sign like these are the goals like we uh, what you are tracking for you are tracking for websites uh, uh, tracking actions on your website uh, tracking actions on, on your apps or tracking calls from your ads or website or you can import uh, uh convergence from google analytics and other sources as well like salesforce and joho platform other offline uh, conversion or lead platform as well now for the conversion tag like uh, my goal is to track uh, website website actions now i have to select uh, what is the category now i can select for purchase for shopping ads i can uh, go with purchase i can go with uh, add to cart begin checkout subscribe that are the micro conversion tags micro conversion categories and uh, these are the lead categories uh, these categories are introduced uh, in 2020 recently in uh, uh, march and uh, april and uh, uh, like my uh, goal is to track conversions for uh like submit lead form yeah submit lead form or i can go with for uh, purchase as well i can go with for page views as well like i am going for page views yeah now my conversion name is already set up with uh, the conversion category page views you can set up your uh, conversion name by your own website name or any other tag you want to create like you can go with uh, your like my conversion for like i am going with leads and i am going to select submit lead form okay yeah i am going with the submit lead form and now you have to select value like what value you are getting for each conversion like you are getting for specific one uh value for all the conversions or you are getting for different values for all the conversions if uh, you are selecting the shopping campaign you can go with the second option you you can uh, select use different values for each conversion that mean on your shopping platform on your e-commerce website or or on your drop shipping website you are targeting different different products with different prices as well different values as well then you can go with the different values for each conversion but now i am going both going going with the same value for each conversion like i am targeting leads like for leads i am selecting like uh, my lead value is around 1000 rupee and uh, you can also select the don't uh, don't use a value for this conversion action third option on that 
लाइक यू आर टारगेटिंग फॉर सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर्म और यू आर टारगेटिंग सब्सक्रिप्शन न्यूज लेटर और एनी अदर टाइप यू वॉन्ट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू ट्रैक कन्वर्जन वैल्यू देन यू कैन गो विद दीज लाइक आई एम गोइंग विद डिफरेंट वैल्यू दैट इज वन थाउजेंड वैल्यू फॉर माई इस लीड एंड काउंट काउंट इज द लाइक हाउ मेनी कन्वर्जन टू काउंट पर क्लिक और इंट्रैक्शन बाई योर कन्वर्जन एक्शन लाइक आई एम टारगेटिंग एवरी कन्वर्जन एक्शन लाइक इफ माई परचेजर इज बाइंग एट द टाइम वन प्रोडक्ट देन आई कैन गो विद एवरी वैल्यू लाइक इट विल काउंट एवरी परचेज इन दैट कन्वर्जन कैटेगरी एंड इफ आई एम टारगेटिंग फॉर वन दैट मीन ईच पर्सन विल फिल अप द फॉर्म फॉर लीड्स और साइन अप्स दैट विल काउंट एज ओनली वन If uh, one person is uh, submitting uh, multiple times my lead form or sign up form or uh, any other interaction, that means uh, it will only count as one. So I am going with one. Like uh, I don't want to track conversion with multiple uh, fill up forms from one single person. So I am going with the one. And uh, now you can select the conversion window as well. You can go with the one twenty windows, ninety days window, maximum ninety days window, or you can go with the uh custom uh, windows as well here yeah, you can go with the maximum 90 windows or like you can go with the 45 days windows or you can go with the uh anything you want to track like i'm going with the uh, 30 days conversion window that is the most appreciable conversion window for and view through conversion rate that is uh, like uh, i'm targeting each person clicking uh, viewing my ad and counting on the same day conversion okay now including conversion that means you have to select a, a yes and attribution model attribution model are four type four, four types of uh, main attribution model like one is last click that mean if one person is clicking at the time and uh, clicking multiple times that mean he uh, that conversion will count as his last click and uh, when you select you, you have select uh, first click that mean uh, it will count only as first click conversion like if i am clicking on uh, add uh, multiple times but uh, if uh, the advertiser have had selected a uh, first click conversion uh, model that mean my first click will be counted as conversion and linear that is distributed to all the clicks and uh, uh, time delay that will distribute to the time displayed and uh, all the uh, windows as well on position based that means uh, it will distribute to the 40% to the first and last click and uh, 20% to the other clicks as well uh, for data driven data driven that uh, uh, if, uh, for data driven attribution model you have must you must have conversion data for data driven Uh, like you have must have data driven conversion like uh, if i am targeting for shopping campaign and my uh, campaigns are getting good conversions like uh, uh, more than 50 conversion then i can go with data driven like uh, that conversion tag will uh, attribution model will uh, optimize my campaign according to the previous uh, conversions uh, audience as well now i am going with the last click and uh, create and continue now uh, there are the three options uh, you can set up uh, your tag you can set up your tag by your yourself that mean uh, you can set up uh, that is the code and you can uh, put that code in your website like uh, in in which page of your of your website you want to track the conversion and uh, you can click the uh, lead conversion window to the that particular event or particular that page load like uh, Uh, if you are targeting for lead conversion or lead form that mean uh, uh when someone fill up the form and then uh, after filling up the form that uh, uh, page that website redirect to the thank you page or uh, contact page uh, on that page you can uh, put that uh, event snippet that will uh, only count as conversion and uh, 
what is the second option you can email uh, yeah, like if you are not aware about the website development or website mastering tool then you can go with the second option you can email that tag to the your web, uh, website developer website uh, handling team or website designer team uh, for that you can set up you can put up his email address and uh, that code this code will set directly send to that uh, website developer's email and uh, uh, he will or she will can uh, she can set up that co uh, that code conversion code or event code for you and that is the third option third option is for, through google tag manager google tag manager is like uh, uh, everything about tracking and everything about uh, creating the tags events uh, uh, like events attributes and all these things that is the adv most most advanced level of uh, google adwords google tag manager and uh, you can set up uh, your conversion tag uh, with google tag manager as well you need to create a google tag manager account and on that you need to create property you need to create in that property you need to create a separate conversion for like uh, your targeting conversion from google ads and you can uh, set up attributes events and conversion window as well that is the uh, for that uh, after clear um, creating google ads conversion uh, google ads tag manager account you need to add the link tag to your websites as well and uh, after that uh, uh, creating that uh, tag and you putting up into the website you can track each conversion from all types of platform like you can con track conversion from facebook you can track conversion from Quora, you can track conversion from offline form as well you can track conversion from other uh, form as well so uh, i basically target uh, uh, tag by myself and uh, i will go with this i need to set up this code to my every page and this code to my thank you page and uh, after clicking on this that uh, my conversion tag already set up and uh, you can check your conversion tag that uh, is already set up or not you can install google chrome uh, ad extension that is called tag assistant that is provided by official uh, google ads platform and uh, uh, on that uh, tag assistant uh, chrome extension you can click uh, your website and uh, reload the website after clicking on tag assistant you can track that uh, your conversions are tracking or recording or not uh, you can track you can check your uh, conversion tag that is uh, uh, verified or not you can uh, submit a lead by yourself and uh, check in the conversion window like here uh, th that will be as recorded and uh, it's showing me and verified uh, because i have not set up the conversion tag by myself okay so this is the conversion tag setup uh, uh, part and now we will go to the search uh, ad creation for search ad, ad creation uh, I think uh, we, need, we need to know about basic terms as well like what are keywords or well, keywords are words phrase that are used to match your website with terms people you are searching for like people uh, what people are searching for people are searching for digital camera that is your keyword people are searching for Nikon camera that is your keyword people are searching for uh, like uh, Canon 200D camera that is your uh, informational keyword and that is your informational uh, term as well what are keyword match types keyword match types uh, are like uh, uh, these are the form of uh, keywords there are four form of keyword match types uh, in google ads that is broad match broad match modifier phrase match and exact match in broad match uh, the audience size is uh, very large like you are targeting for very broad and uh, broad match modifier it means uh, in that particular keyword the uh, audience size is limited but relevant as well broad and limited and for phrase match uh, and, uh, in that particular uh, phrase match keyword type uh, there are similar related to your search terms like uh, not exactly but exactly or similar to your keywords and uh, for exact match uh, like uh, if you have selected a uh, exact match uh, digital camera keyword that means you, your ad can only shown to 
uh, user who are searching for only digital camera nothing else that N not else camera digital or not else uh, digital camera information or digital camera price on all other systems these are the four uh, keyword match types we will uh, uh, show live example in creating uh, campaign as well now after keyword match types that is the most important factor is that system the uh, system is that uh, uh, exact word or set of uh, words uh, that uh, uh, user are searching for uh, your service or your keywords or your product uh, in google search uh, results that is your system and uh, what is negative keyword negative keyword is that uh, uh, prevents your ad from being triggered to the certain word or phrase like uh, if you are targeting for digital camera and you don't want to like if you are targeting for canon digital camera and you don't want to show people who are searching for nikon then you can uh, add nikon as the negative keyword or you can uh, like you can uh, add negative keyword with the similar website like amazon or flipkart if your website is different from amazon flipkart then you can go with the negative keywords so negative keywords are the most important part in cost cutting in relevancy to the ads as well in improving ctr as well and ctr is also improves quality score as well these are the already uh, related to interlinking like uh, uh, system uh, better performs the keywords and the keywords better perform with quality score and quality score better performs with C, uh, ctr and ctr better performs with ad rank as well and ad rank is re directly related to the your ad position and uh, traffic as well and your roe as well now how bidding works bidding uh, like how bidding works advertiser bid on certain keywords in order to uh, clickable ads to appear in Google search terms. Now, uh, I have already uh, shown to you how bidding works. Like, digital camera, like I am searching for digital camera, and uh, for that uh, particular keyword, uh, I, uh, these are the advertisers who have bid for digital camera and uh, relevant to that uh, digital camera keyword system uh, google algorithm has shown these results like these are the shopping ads these are related to my digital camera system and that is how like bidding works and uh, now uh, we will go to the campaign creation part like we will create a search campaign and in that campaign we will show everything about ad copy extension keyword intents and add all the things now uh, i am going with the one of my client and i am going to use his website and now we will go to campaign creation part uh, in the to your api interface of uh, uh, google ads you have to click on plus sign after clicking on plus sign you have to click on new campaign now this is the these are the uh, six uh, six to seven goals uh, like we will go with the, these type of campaigns like if your uh, campaign goal is sales uh, you can go with the sales like you want to drive sales with your website or phone or your app you can go with the sales uh, sales campaigns uh, uh, can show to search ads and display ads uh, and shopping ads video ads smart discovery these are the uh, ad campaign types we can create in that particular goal for lead campaign we can uh, go with the search display shopping video smart discovery as well website traffic search display shopping video discovery product and brand concentration for that uh, we can go with display campaign and video campaign as well for brand awareness and reach we can go with the display and uh, particular to the brand awareness consideration same as that and for app promotion like you want to install your app or you want to show your app ads to specific users in google play store google or your apple i apple app store you can go with the apple promo app promotion as well and if you don't want to uh, select the uh, goal then, then you can go with the uh, without creating your goal then you need to create a campaign time 
and uh, for that you can go with the search display shopping ad these are the uh, seven campaign types that we can go with uh, in google ads so like search campaign display campaign shopping video app smart smart campaign can show up to <coughs> each type of text ad image ads google this google maps and every platform google can show your ads then you can go with the smart campaign and for discovery youtube gmail discover and these are the discovery campaigns as well now uh, for leads campaign um, my goal is to collect the leads now i will go, go with the leads and uh, now i will go with the search and uh, like um, my clients uh, uh, audience is on the search uh, result page as well now i will go with the search page search call campaign type and now i will go with the now you can select the uh goal type as well like you want to track uh, phone, website visits or phone calls or store visit or ad promotion i am going with the website visits and now i am putting up my website uh, client's website now after uh, uh, putting up the website now you can click on continue and uh, in, you can select your campaign name as well like i am selecting pankaj search lead okay now this is the most important part like uh, i don't want to uh, include both networks in search campaign like my goal is to collect leads and uh, i am creating google display network and google search partners as the network to uh, show my ads but i don't want to uh, show my ads to display network so i have to click on and select the campaign and for more setting you can uh, add the startup date yeah like you want to uh, uh, start your ads uh, you want to start your campaign on specific date and you want to add your specific date then you can go with this and campaign urls you can uh, add the tracking templates uh, like if, uh, you can track with the third party templates as well uh, i don't want to track uh, third party templates and i i'm not creating dynamic search ad settings so uh this is my particular audience like uh, uh, my audience I, audience uh, location is only in india now in location option advanced setting you have to select the third uh, third option middle option like first option is for people who are searching for interest or you know target location like if people are searching for uh, like this is the client website and people are have to search for tax web, taxation solutions and uh, accounting services as well so uh who people who are searching uh, people who are uh, in bangladesh nepal and pakistan and uh, those are searching for uh, accounting services in india and that is particular keyword then if you select first uh, first uh, as the target location option that mean it will show uh, to outside my india as uh, india location as well and if you will slow uh, select the target uh, in people in or regular in my reg targeted location that mean it will only show to the people who are in my particular location or regularly in my particular location as well and you can exclude any particular city or any particular state in the exclude section now what is your language like uh, what your customers are speaks a language like i am selecting for english and if you don't want to select a as the english language you can unselect the language it will show up to all languages speaking to the customers and uh, uh, i don't want to i don't have any audience so i'm going with the budget like i'm putting a 500 minimum budget that is the basic budget for search campaign i think uh, this is the best basic budget for campaign we need to set up and uh, that will spend 500 uh, per day and for bidding strategy i can go with the uh, like i can i have to select directly bidding strategy and i can go with the manual cpc uh, i strongly recommend you to select the manual cpc for your first campaign or your first time campaign like if you are targeting you are creating ads for particular for that industry for first time you must have to go with the manual cpc like after uh, putting up the manual cp like you have to select the uh, bid for each key keywords or all type of keywords uh, by your own that mean uh, you are not uh, getting control to the 
all control to the google algorithm and google server google ai uh, the more advantage to select manual cpc is that uh, now after selecting manual cpc you will get uh, few clicks or uh, some clicks but those clicks on those keywords will show that uh, how many you can how how many amount you can bid on that how you can control your bidding as well so i am collect going with the manual cps without uh, optimizing for conversions like uh, if you if had selected this option have help link increase conversion with enhanced cpc it means it will automatically enhance the cpc google ai will automatically enhance the cpc to get more conversions uh that can uh, result into conversions as well that can not be result in conversions as well like it it cannot uh, google ai does not guarantee you to uh, more conversions to with the enhanced cpc option so uh, i don't want to go with this uh, enhanced cpc and uh, in more section you have to select the uh, conversion like uh, for uh, this campaign which type of conversion you are getting like i was already set up the leads campaign and uh, leads conversion tag this campaign is selecting particular that conversion now you can select your ads to dealing as well like uh, my ad need to show monday to friday and uh, uh, like uh, 9 like must my uh, client want to uh, get leads uh, only in that particular time in particular uh, days as well and you need to select ad rotation ad rotation i really strongly recommend you to use the optimized preferred best performing ad like uh, you need to create two to three ads and uh, in that particular two to three ads you go with these option okay now what are site links site links now uh, i will show you what are site links in live example ITR service okay that is uh, official website okay now i think so let's go with this option google ads and uh, this is your ha headline like you can see google ads official site these are the headlines titles of your ad that are description of your ad and uh, these are the site links these are the snippet site links uh, these are the uh, link extensions as well these are the link extensions. these are the link description as well these are the site links site links extensions enhance your uh, ad relevancy and enhance your ads to uh, describe what is your ad type what uh, services you are providing like google ads uh, how much it does cost learn to use google ads these are the site links and google ads is using in his ad campaign now for site link uh, we can go with these few options like new site link extension site link extensions uh, will go with the uh, like i i can go with the trademark itr i can go with this i need to put final url of my landing page and then i have to fill up the description of my site link like register your trademark more effectively okay now i can create second site link as well yeah i need to put up final url like uh, income tax filling fill your itr form before it ends yeah i can create uh, different uh, like i uh, for site link extension i need to create four minimum extensions as well 
I can go with this site link and for license service. And I can go with the pen card registration as well. You can put your description from landing page as well, like what is your pen, what pen card services you are providing. Within uh, thirty days, now. Oh, I have to select the description lines as well. So I am not going to waste my time with this, as the video can get up to more lengthy as well i'm just showing you how you can create your ad uh, site link extensions now you can create other types of extensions as well like uh, call out extensions call out extensions you can uh, you have to select a uh, uh, call out like what are your uh, what your features uh, what services or uh, what uh, your business stands out uh, from your competitors as well you can fill up those uh, catchy headlines in your call out extensions and if you are targeting for a lead and call only ad you can go with the new call extensions and uh, i need to create a call extension as i am collecting leads so i am searching for yeah that is my client's number and i can go with this option and select the call extension after saving of that uh, it will show with my web website ad and you can select other ad extensions like structure snippet app extensions lead form extensions and message extensions as well uh, lead extension lead form extension is recently introduced but uh, i have already used lead form extension but uh, uh, from my from my personal experience uh, it's uh, it's not up to mark uh, with the uh, facebook lead type facebook ad type like uh, facebook uh, lead form uh, get more results but uh, google lead form extension is not getting good results that's why i'm not uh, uh, strongly recommend you to use the lead form extension you can go you can go with the experiment with lead form extension i don't uh, uh, say that you don't uh, need to create lead form extensions and you can go with the message extension in which uh, extension you can uh, customer will or uh, user website user will fill up that uh, uh, message and uh, that will directly send to your uh, google ads uh, platform and uh, your web, uh, client as well you can go with the promotion extension like if you are promoting any offer or any discount that even you can go with the promotion extension as well you can go with the price extension as well like if you are targeting for shopping campaign and you have uh, or if you are uh, showing your uh, product ads or any other types of ads you can go with the price extension like uh, i am going with this accounting services uh, uh, with uh, 1500 or 15000 price you can show your price on the ads as well uh, you can go with the location extension as well uh, location ex extension is strongly recommended uh, when we are targeting for google my business ads yeah, or my google map ads then we have to select google extension or if you are targeting for people who uh, can see your ads and then they can uh, they can visit your physical store or physical uh, shop then you can go with the location extension now I have already created this call out uh, site link extension and call extension that are the uh, basic and more important uh, 
ओके ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट सेवनटीन इज द लाइक इट इज काउंटिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स टाइम सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड नाइन टू फाइव इन द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स टाइम पीरियड एंड आई क्लिक ऑन सेवन कंटिन्यू दैट मीन इट विल डायरेक्टली गो टू माई एड ग्रुप लेवल एज वेल now in particular ad group like uh, I, if i am targeting this particular ad group i will target accounting service then this uh, ad group uh, accounting service we need to create related or relevant keywords in that particular uh, ad group for that uh, like uh, i i am targeting for accounting service ad group and i am targeting for accounting services only in, in that particular ad group i can go with uh, bidding as well like uh, i can go with the uh, minimum bid 20 rupees or as per your research with the uh, google keyword planner and uh, you can select relevant keywords uh, from the right side get keyword ideas option and you can go with the accountants near me tax accountants and uh, find an accountant and uh, uh, accounting services yeah that is the like uh, i recommend you to use uh, exact keywords you can go with exact keywords like this uh, putting up these columns and uh, you can go with this phrase uh, match type keyword by selecting these uh, inverted commas and uh, you can go with uh, broad match modifier by uh, putting up a plus option with that particular word and uh, i have selected one uh, particular broad match modifier like now i can go with uh, broad keyword like uh, accountant services that is my broad keyword uh, these are the examples that you can use with your campaigns like how you can use uh, physical uh, phrase phrase match types and broad match types or broad match modifier that like th this is exact keyword example this is phrase match keyword example this is uh, broad match modifier example and that is broad match keyword broad match keyword will get more audience more clicks uh, broad match modifier uh, keyword will get less clicks but relevant to your keyword and phrase match keyword uh, will get uh, most relevant and uh, but related to or similar to your systems and uh, exact keyword will get uh, only people who are searching for accountants near me that is the only uh, option uh, i recommend you to use exact or phrase match keywords if you have less budget like if you have uh, 500 or uh, below budget then you can go with exact or phrase keywords like if you have a uh, big budgets then you can go with uh, all the types of keyword keyword match types and that totally depends upon your uh, keyword uh, monthly searches as well in, in for that particular that you can go with tools and you can go with keyword planner as well and uh, i will show you how you can go how you can search uh, with the uh, google keyword keyword planner how to you can use google keyword planner to research uh, most more relevant keywords like uh, i'm searching uh, with website you can go with your website as well like uh, that will show uh, relevant to your website keywords entire this page or entire website and you can select your location language search network i can go with search not partner search partners uh, will add more monthly searches and uh, you can select uh, the time period like uh, how uh, for particular that time period how many monthly searches or competition on those keywords uh, google is showing so for my website it is not showing good uh, keywords for that i i will go with uh, start with keywords and i am going with accountants near me and i will 
and select this domain to filter now this is the first keyword like i search for accountants near me it is getting 720 monthly searches and uh, uh, for that uh, 720 searches uh, that uh, that are getting every 72 monthly searches and you can see on which particular time period in which particular month uh, that particular keyword is getting higher result or higher uh, lower searches as well then you can analyze the competition level for uh, each time zone each time period as well and you can see competition is low that means uh, my keyword will get lower uh, bid maximum up to 9 and higher up to 74 and that are the relevant keyword cpa near me tax accountant near me you can de uh, select that relevant keyword like for G google keyword planner there is an one another option in particular that option you can unselect uh, like uh, you don't want to include your brand name then you can uh, go with uh, that option as well and uh, you can uh, broaden your search as well with particular these uh, adding your keyword ideas as well and uh, if you have selected like uh, group ideas like if you are uh, targeting for uh, multiple ad groups and uh, then you can go with the group ideas as well like in particular ad that uh, consultants near me how many keywords we can use these are the keywords we can use for particular ad groups as well for particular tax agents we can use with these keywords we can go with accountant services we can go with these keywords these are the most uh, relevant keywords for accounting services so we can go with these keywords okay now you can select broad match modifier or phrase match or exact match directly to your uh, add group as well now add keywords adding your keywords to the uh, add group and uh, now that is in your plan now you can see in plan overview like uh, by selecting these keywords how many clicks i will get in particular uh, budget like uh, I feel if I will select this uh, daily budget 11 and uh, 3 clicks 69 impression that is average estimate and plan overview CTR that will you get 4.1 percent so 29 CPC average ad position uh, most people uh, confuse in like how uh, you can go with the uh, biddings uh, like how you can go with manual bidding in plan overview you can already see that uh, how many every cpc how many or every cpc these keywords will get so i will all i will always go with i will always recommend you to use less uh, amount of uh, every cpc or bidding to their keywords uh, in plan over we like it showing 29 and i have already selected 20 like i'm not getting and you can get uh, you can add conversion matrix as well like 4% conversion how many you are going to uh, how many budget you want to track like 4% conversion if it, it will show zero conversion 750 cpa with these keywords and for these keywords it will show like accounts and near me it will uh, go with 0 0.11 conversion devices on particular these keywords how many devices uh, how many monthly searches or how many uh, search results can show up to these devices locations as well like uh, for that particular keyword in india gujarat is the most important uh, uh, audience of uh, the accounting service in near me after that uttarakhand Tamil Nadu, and all these things and you can go with the union territories or top cities as well you can see which city is getting more uh, search search results with these keywords like surat is uh, searching more about more about this keyword and there are only the second and these are the cities which are getting and you can go with the clicks as well like which uh, city is getting more clicks that you can see and you can see also impressions as well and you can see cost as well like which city will get most uh, cost to your 
this particular keyword as well and that is all about plan overview now i have already selected these keywords and now we will go to save and continue now after clicking on save and continue it will uh, go to the add creation part like uh, always put the final url for the particular uh, like for particular service or particular product like i am targeting for accounting services and i think i accountants accounting services is the main home page website and accounting services accounting accounting so i will go with this home page and i will go with like this, that is my main 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 keyword now that is the secret uh, strategy of mine i i am using with my clients or i am using with, with my campaigns that you have to put main keyword in headline 1 and you can add second keyword or relevant to or relevant to the uh, main keyword in the headline 2 as well like uh, or you can show your feature or you can show like these headlines like a headline like uh, affordable rates and you can go with the headline third as well affordable rates uh, you can uh, put your keyword in display path as well for effective ad copy strategy you need to add your keyword in headline 1 you need to uh add catchy headline in headline 2 and you need to add uh, your keyword or particular key main keyword uh, one word in display path and uh, most important uh, description about your service as well now i have to put this in the path 2 now it uh, in the right side you can see how my ad will appear on the mobile and uh, you can see how it will appear on desktop as well like uh, these are the my ad extensions and this my uh, call out extension and now i need to put description as well let us handle your accounts and books bookkeeping that is the description like we will handle your accounts and bookkeeping and uh, now you can uh, click on done then this will save your ad in that particular ad group here. and now you can create second ad like i strongly recommend you to min use minimum two ads like you have already selected the optimize for best performing ads now if you had created only one ad then that mean you are Uh, not optimizing for best performing ad so i am creating second head you can add your city as well like if you are targeting for surat city or for gujarat then you you can target like accountants in delhi or best accountant in delhi or uh Uh, number one accountant in Gujarat or number one accountant in Delhi. That is your catchy headline, and uh, you can select uh, now. You need to put your headline two in headline two. You need to add catchy 
line catchy hairline as well that like it will attract your visitors to click on your ads that i already put in first ad now i need to think different from the first ad like uh, and uh, you can go with the this and uh, different description as well but i am not going with the different description i am going with the i am need i am going to test headline only headline first and headline two like it will test uh, like which headline is better performing so i am going to save and continue and uh, now my uh, our campaign has been created like it will show estimate to our campaign like it will get 11 clicks a uh, daily and cost to 120 in 500 daily budget and these are the particular uh, settings uh, that you have already set up like 27th uh, of may 2020 it will so it will start running my ads and campaign budget 500 building strategy manual cpc you can review your uh, settings here also after creating the like if, if you have mistakenly chosen any other different options you can see here also like uh, which uh, language you have select which call, call type you have select and which uh, ad types and which uh, keywords you have already selected now click on continue to campaign and my campaign is already created and now after creating the campaign my ads are being reviewed by google team and uh, these status are uh, under review after review these state uh, these are ad st status will uh, go up to approved or eligible or approved limited in approved limited that means uh, you are targeting for something different uh, trademark or different uh, types of brand names that means uh, approved limited that means uh, your ad is uh, approved but limited to particular location particular search terms and uh, for eligible that means uh, that your ad is uh, eligible to run on google ads and uh, for particular brand names or particular keywords uh, 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 status uh, can show up to under view but uh, its status showing eligible and after uh, uh, being reviewed by uh, google team these keywords and ads will uh, show status to approved and you can add uh, if your uh, keyword or if your uh, ad is uh, being disapproved then you can add uh, columns option one minute and You can go with the policy details as well like policy detail which type of policy you are violated for the by disapproving uh, your ad it will show which policy you are violated and uh, you can show like i already selected a leads campaign so i can show these matrices to track to on my campaign and uh, that is the about google search campaign and uh, in this video we will we already had uh, created this campaign for search ads keywords extensions negative keywords like now i will show how you can add negative keywords like for particular that campaign you need to click on that campaign pangal search lead and after clicking on that now i can one minute i'm clicking on punkas search and accounting service campaign particular negative keyword option is there click on negative keywords and now you can add negative keywords for the old search terms you don't want to show your ads to particular users like i don't want to show users for my uh, computer like who are searching for uh, agarwal accountant or i'm not uh, going to provide my free service school
college and uh, i'm not going to reveal my price cost job i'm not going to educate okay tutorial training location and many other uh, systems we can add for this particular campaign so i have shown the example like this type of negative keywords you can go with uh, this particular type of campaign and uh, after clicking on save it will add uh, to my campaign now you can see your search keywords like you can see your search terms as well like like after uh, running the ads uh, in the search term option uh, google shows uh, like uh, for particular search term for particular words uh, how many clicks impression ctr and uh, all these are clicking like for which words uh, people are searching for your ads for which keywords for which search terms people are search, uh, clicking on your ad and uh, you can go with the audi auction insight on auction insight uh, it shows that uh, for particular this type of keywords or particular that campaign for particular that service uh, how many uh, domains or how many competitors are bidding for and it shows like uh, how many impressions you are getting how many your competitor are getting for particular for all the competitors competitors uh, it will show how many impression share how many page rate or out ranking share they are getting and how you can see you can take the example of uh, your competitors in the uh, auction insight and you can see demographic option like uh, for uh, particular that uh, campaign which type of age group is searching which type of gender is uh, searching for which type of household income is searching and you can add device settings as well like for you don't want to uh show your ads to mobile user then you can go with decrease bid like this and you can go to campaign uh, computer setting like, like if you don't want to show your ads to computer users then you can uh, decrease that uh, or you don't you want to show your ads more uh, to the computer user then you can add uh, this one like 10 percent to the like you are bidding for 10 then it will uh, com for computer user it will go to 11 cpc as well 11 rupees bid as well and uh, all this type of uh, campaigns you can create with the search ads and uh, so this is uh, all about search ad campaign now let's meet in the next module welcome back guys to the third module in which we will talk about google display ads in google display ads module we will talk about what is display network how to set how to create display ads how to set display keywords contextual targeting that is also called a contextual targeting what are placements what are topics what are interests what is demographic geo language targeting what is layer targeting and what are gmail ads that are need to create in display ads and what are mobile ads as well that are the part of display ads so let's start the uh, google display ads module so first of all we will need to know about what is display network display network is the more than 2 million website network videos and apps where ads can appear or display network site reach over 90 percent of internet users worldwide like 90 percent of the users uh, are present on the display network uh, which can be uh, presented on the different website on uh, which can different on uh, videos like uh, youtube content and uh, other video websites as well and uh, apps website as well apps platform as well and uh, that is already or all, all about uh, display network display network uh, is different from search uh, network like uh, uh, like i will give you example what is display network
here you can see the website small SEO tools and here you can see the display ads that are the ads which are displaying on this website through Google Adsense or other platforms as well or double click as well these are the display ads uh, for a promotion for uh, uh, SMRush website and that is career changing that are the display ads like uh, display ads uh, can be presented on website YouTube videos and other video video content website plus other apps as well like uh, you can see while playing a game or while playing using any app uh, you can see different ads which are presenting to you to enforce you to for some action or to download any other app or any to play any other game or any other app to download or take action on your apps as well that are the display ads now let's start the video with the creating the campaign of display ads first of all you have to click on new campaign and after clicking on the campaign you can go with the sales purpose leads purpose website traffic like these are the uh, go, uh, campaign goal that you can select for display ads as well like i'm going for uh, without creating the goal and i'm going with the display ads and uh, i'm not going to uh, create smart display campaign i'm going to create standard display campaign smart display campaign automatically is adjust your ad creatives and uh, uh, goal to con get more conversions but for that uh, you need at least some traffic or you need at least some conversions for to uh, create smart display campaign so i'm going to create standard display campaign in that case you can choose G gmail campaign as well i'm going to create first standard display campaign so and now uh, put your website like i am going to create uh, put my client website and uh, now you have to click on continue now after clicking on continue it will show you to create a campaign name i'm going to create like display first ad okay now you have to the like uh, in search campaign your uh, maximum settings are similar to the search uh, ads uh, as well now you have to select location i'm going to select uh, india and location op option is in advance and uh, after that you can choose any language like i'm going to target all languages and uh, you have to select the bidding strategy as well like uh, it will uh, uh, you can choose directly automatic bidding strategy or you can choose manual bidding strategy these are the automatically targeting uh, targeting strategy bidding strategies and i am going to create, uh, select the manual targeting strategy in which you can choose target cpa in that target cpa bidding strategy uh, it will automatically target uh, those audience uh, or in that particular bidding strategy uh, it will uh, get it will try to get uh, more goals in that your uh, particular amount in particular amount your cpu uh, bid you have you are bidding on and in a target rus it will uh, set to maximize conversion or maximize value uh, within your ad spend and maximize clicks it will automatically optimize to get more clicks only like it will not uh, target to maximize conversion or maximize uh, ROS or uh, CPA and in maximize conversion it will automatically target uh, optimize to maximize conversion within your budget like uh, I'm targeting 500 budget within that budget it will uh, try to get more more conversion as much as Google can and we will CPM like it will focus on impression like it will try to show my ads maximum possible and I'm going to target ma manual CPC in which I can uh, I can bid my own amount okay now for budget like I'm targeting 500 budget now we need to uh, know about that uh, uh, display ads are cheaper than search ads uh, display ads are cheaper and then search ads uh, because search ads are uh, displaying on the search result page google search re result page and uh, other search engine pages as well but display ads are being displayed on the 
वेबसाइट्स वीडियोस दैट आर थर्ड पार्टी एंड ऑथराइज्ड बाय गूगल एडसेंस डबल क्लिक वेबसाइट्स एंड अदर द एप्स एज वेल सो डिस्प्ले एड्स आर मोर चीपर देन मोर मोर चीपर देन सर्च सर्च एड्स बट कन्वर्जन इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट कन्वर्जन विंडो सी टी आर एंड ऑल द थिंग्स डिस्प्ले एड्स आर गेटिंग लेट सी टी आर लेस सी पी एम एंड लेस कन्वर्जन एज कम्पेयर टू द सर्च एड्स सो इन एडवांस सेटिंग वी विल सेलेक्ट द ऑप्टिमाइज ऑप्टिमाइज फॉर बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग एड्स एज वेल एंड आई कैन सेलेक्ट ऑल डे आई कैन सेलेक्ट दीज ऑल द थिंग्स and uh, let's optimize the frequency capping you can select the frequency capping like set a limit to uh, whole campaign to uh, one uh, per day uh, one user per day like uh, for this uh, option frequency setting option one per day uh, each person will get uh, my ads uh, will uh, see my ads only one time per day i can select 10 times per day for that uh, uh, or uh, google can optimize uh, accordingly uh, to the ads and accordingly to the performing ads by itself so i'm going to select google optimize for best performing ads and uh, you don't have to select campaign url option dynamic search uh, i'm not uh, creating dynamic feed so i'm not selecting dynamic ads as well conversion level is that window contact uh, content exclusion i am not uh, targeting content exclusion but you can target uh, content exclusion like uh, sensitive targeting of social issues profanity sexual suggestives and all the other things and you can uh, exclude these contents like which are not relevant to your uh, category to your uh, to your display ads so now i am going to define the campaign name ad group name so here in audience you you have three option you can search the audience by yourself you can get the ideas by yourself on you by idea categories are the uh, where your advertise uh, where your ads can be shown in this category business services sales and marketing and all the are the uh, categories of your uh, website and these are the website uh, these are the categories audience categories which are based on my website like uh, indian company registration services company registration services and tax accounting services tax accountant accountants and accounting services i have already selected these and you can go with uh, searching accounting services as well and it will get uh, more uh, audience categories ideas as well like business accounting outsourcing accounting bookkeeping and all other things so for search you can select uh, by searching the ideas by yourself and for ideas google automatically suggest you to select the audience categories based on your website and based on your categories as well now you can also uh, browse by selecting the demographic or affinity or uh, by like uh, in market audience and uh, remarketing audience like if you have created a remarketing audience uh, audience uh, source then you can select this option like i have already selected uh, created the optimized uh, adwords optimized list and uh, if uh, that uh, list have 1000 uh, uh, users in that will list you can uh, go with the, that list as well and uh, now i'm going to uh, get with the, these three categories three audience categories and uh, demographic i can select these good demographic ad- ideas first of all we will create the campaign and we will go talk about these letters all the audience types as well now i am going to target exp- uh, expansion like uh, i i can stress that uh, target uh, audience level uh, to the maximum level as well and to the minimum level as well like it is the 53 that is the average on my manual targeting level and ad group bidding is like uh 0.2 like 20 paisa in inr and for that i need to create new ad i am going to create display ads responsive display ads so 
here it is the url uh, for which uh, you are uh, displaying the ads now i have to select the images it can automatically scan the website and you can select those images as well like i i am going to select uh, i am going to select that option that that image uh, for image and uh, that is landscape uh, size and that is square size i am going to select this great now i have to select one for logo as well like uh, i am going to select logo for that uh, recently used recently used yeah i can uh, use that as well i'm going to select that for logo and i'm going to click on continue and you can save those images and you can upload the uh, videos as well if you have created the videos for your service or for your uh, campaign now i have to put uh, headlines as well like what headlines say accountants near me accountant in your area for devil accounting services now i am going to create third headline that is according to my service as well yeah now what is the fourth web fourth headline that can speak to like cpa accountant in india yeah number 1 accountant in india and that is the long headline that is displaying on the this particular area for that uh, i need to create like uh, a four day world cpa accountant in india and uh, i need to put description for that as well now what you are providing we provide accounting solutions in india affordable at affordable cost now i need to put business name as well that is the business name and add to the ad group now my ad has been created now i can click on create campaign and it will automatically uh, finish the my campaign creation part yeah now you can see the settings as well that my web campaign will run uh, start on 27th may no end date campaign goal is not selected 500 daily visit india target location all languages are selected and standard campaign type bidding strategy is this and get type are this like uh, audience size is that and uh, my headline is that continue to campaign now we will talk about now how to set the display keywords and all the types now when you can select the display keywords you can click on keywords and add the keywords like uh, for that particular campaign you can select accounting services accountants in in delhi or uh, business accountant in india 
that are the basic keywords that I'm showing to you that how you can set keywords to now you can select the content at like only show ads on web pages that will video related to these keywords like my uh, ads will show on those, those website or on those apps or on those video content which are related to my keywords and I can select the save option that I've selected my keywords and uh, now I can select the uh, placements as well like where I my website uh, my display ads uh, can show we need to uh, select the dis uh, placements as well okay now you can select the demographic option as well like uh, in that particular demographic uh, audience size you can select the age level like on which audience uh, age group you want to target like i want to target uh, i don't want to target 18 to 24 i want to target i don't want to target 65 plus and uh, i want to target 25 to uh, 54 that is my uh, perfect audience size uh, that can spend uh, that are running business and that are uh, uh, acquiring be accounting services so i can select gender as well like i need to select all the genders and parental services are not related to my uh, audience category and household income that can be related to my audience category but i don't want to target uh, uh, lower income well uh, lower income the audience and higher in all higher income audience as well i can uh, combine all the things like uh, i can see after running the ads i can see that uh, on which uh, age group on which uh, gender or we, on which parental status household income i am getting impressions and after that i can optimize that uh, campaign uh, to best perform with my audience size by, to best perform with my age group gender and household income as well i can exclude the audience uh, demographic option like i can exclude one single option with the all the like i don't want to target uh, unknown if i don't want to target 65 plus i don't want to target this and i don't want to target uh, uh, lower 50 percent that can be my perfect audience size now if your ads have been started in that particular option where ads sold in that particular option you can see on particular website or particular video content on particular video channels or particular video or uh, apps your ad was showing your audience so now that, that is about uh, uh, geographic targeting and placements now i can select the topic option as well now i have to go to campaign level and after clicking on campaign level now i have to click on display my campaign and i can select the uh, like audience and in particular that audience size you can select the settings and you can see the topics as well you can target uh, my you can target your ads to particular audience which are related to your topic like you can select that particular uh, ad group and targeting option is that uh, which narrow your uh, audience uh, and observation which uh, get nor narrowing by one step and step on step like if i'm targeting option with this uh, uh, these are the categories which are related to my business here yeah. i can target accounting financial services accounting and, and book auditing and i am not going to target job category i am not going to target news law enforcement 
the these are the topics which are related to my audience size so we have already set up the topics now now we uh, we need we will go again to the audience level and we can set up uh, edit audience now i can show you how you can target uh, layer targeting layer targeting what is layer targeting first of all we will not we will to have knowledge about that layer targeting is that if your goal is no target the, to those audience who are buying intent and you can uh, do so by layering an intent or in market audience on the top of your custom affinity audience this will signal google that you want to show ads to people who are inside your affinity audience or you have created which are shown into audience as well like uh, layer targeting is that uh, you can show your similar audience or ad, uh, in market audience as well and that is affinity audience like which are already interested and which are already searching for these services like banking and finances you can select these categories as well and you can target customer affinity like i want to target customer affinity my custom audience now i have to select the interest accounting accounting services bookkeeping taxation and uh, income tax preparation as well these are the interest uh, uh, which is my affinity audience is already are interested in and i can create that uh, affinity audience and i am going to target that affinity audience yeah i already selected that audience and in which that you can see india only display and uh, i can select that layer targeting as well so for display campaigns you need to research about your audience only like uh, where your audience is what your audience do and what your audience is interested in what your audience uh, age group uh, household income type and uh, parental size like if i am targeting for uh, baby foods uh, i will go with the demographic option as well i will go with the uh, age option as well and the gender option as well uh, i can go with parental status as well if i am targeting uh, baby food or baby products as well uh, i can combine all these options as well in my audience size that will help you to uh, increase your audience uh, relevancy to show your ads to the right people to the right audience and that can result into your maximum conversions so this is all about display ads and now we will talk about uh, gmail ad creation for gmail ad creation i will again go with plus sign campaign new campaign and i will go with uh, without creating the campaign i will go with the display and now i will select the gmail option gmail campaign option now i can go with the putting of my website and after putting up the website now i can select the uh, campaign name targeting all languages i can go with the uh, manual cpc bidding option you can select the budget 100 rupees i am going to target and uh, i'm not uh, targeting any additional option like i would don't want to target uh, uh, any ad scheduling or device particular option you can create a ad group name as well as similar to the search and display campaign we have already created now for gmail you can target keywords level like uh, uh, for particular keywords uh, your audience is interested or uh, products or services your audience is interested or for selecting the audience who already sees your audience like uh, if i have already created this option 
i would i want to target uh, that uh, audience to the uh, which uh, uh, which my audience has already visited my website which have already seen my ads as well you can create demographic option and uh, automatic targeting conservative automation that is like uh, you don't want to expand uh, customers uh, you don't want to uh, expand the targeting audience size and you don't want to uh, maximize or minimize that so you can go with conservative automation option and you can set the bidding option like one rupee you can create that this uh, add as well now i have to select the business name bankers taxation like if i'm targeting for india i can go with number 1 display ads which can be shown on your gmail uh, interface uh, home page or it can show in your emails headlines as well like upper headlines where your uh, uh, email title where email header is there you, uh, gmail ads can show there as well cut a affordable accounting solution for your business okay now i can select the images like i can select go with that uh, particular already created image and uh, that is my so that is my header image i can go with the marketing image as well that is my marketing image and i can go with the, that is my header image now add to ad group oh i need to add one logo as well recently used your shirts i think we have already created the logo here guy i am my facebook page is being scanned and i can select that uh, as my logo i can click on add, add to add group and uh, my ad has been created now click on create campaign and your campaign display campaign for gmail ads has been created so that is allow about gmail uh, campaign here you can see all the settings now how you can set up your app campaign as well that is also part of the display ads as well now click on the plus sign new campaign and you can select the app promotion option and you can target the apps uh, to drive app promotion and you can target you can select the mobile apps platform like you want to target android users or ios user then i am going to target like uh, that is just for demo and i can target swiggy or order food delivery i am going to promote that app and here you can add the campaign name and you can target the location as well i am going to target campaign third option language all languages and budget that is my 100 rupees budget and what or install volume like you want to install your apps to particular user all user all are these types of then you can set your uh, cost per install uh, bid as well like i want to target uh, 0.50 paisa like uh, half rupees that is my total target cost cost per install i'm going to bid uh, half rupees bid to install one volume to uh my audience so you can set your target and uh, set uh, dates as well and that is all your app campaign has been created
now click on add group add group name you can set your own custom add group name now fast food delivery don't uh, I, I strongly recommend you to don't use the false headline or false permission for any other type of ad or ad headline or any other type of creative as well because it will result into drastic your performance and it will result in and it can result into your account suspension or ad disapproval as well that is my headline and uh, i can go with the fast food delivery app in india you can add number 1 food delivery platform in india now you can select the images as well like uh, i'm going to select the images i don't want to show like i'm going to download the swiggy app image and i'm going to select that image to display my campaign okay so here i am going to add the image oh here my uh, you can uh, unselect the you can uh, avoid the image and video uh, to your app promotion campaign as well so our app promotion campaign has been created now you can click on continue to campaign and that is your campaign has been set up for app promotion so that is all about uh, uh, display ads in which uh, we have already discussed about display network and how to create display campaign how to create gmail campaign how to target all the audience types as well like interest types demographic type placements and uh, uh, geographic ta targeting as well and we have already set up the app promotion as well so these are the all types of uh, campaign you can run with display ads network so this is all about uh, uh, module third which is which was uh, display ads campaign and uh, so let's move to the next module welcome back to the fourth module in this module we will talk about remarketing ads we remarketing list uh, how we can create remarketing ads uh, what are the specs and uh, how we can create uh, remarketing for search ads remarketing for dynamic ads remarketing for display ads as well and what are the types of remarketing ads that we can create in google ads so first of all we will need to know about uh, what is remarketing like uh, remarketing is a way to connect with the people who are previously interacted with your website or your other form of uh, like app or uh, your uh, video content it allows you to strategically position your ads to uh, that audience which have already uh, visited your website or so it helps uh, you to increase your brand awareness and remind that audience that to take the action that to make a purchase that to generate uh, leads that to submit a lead form or other, uh, any other type of goal that you have already created for your campaigns so 
uh, in this video we will talk about uh, how to set uh, remarketing what is customer match what is similar audience and uh, what is rlsc uh, remarketing list for search ads and what are the other different types of remarketing so first of all uh, we must have to create a remarketing source so click on tools and settings and then you can click on audience like you can click on the share library and audience manager in audience library shared manager audience manager you can set up like website visitors like i am going to create a website visitors like who have visited my page that contains uh, uh, like this is my my website and i am going to uh, put that uh, into and who have not create uh, who have not uh, visited my lead form page like contact page i'm going to submit that as well okay that is my uh, website visitors uh, who are matching with this rule and people who have already vis uh, uh, visited in my 30 days to my website uh, are in my rlsc and i'm going to name that audience to uh, Thirty days. Okay, so create an audience, and that's how you can create your audience for particular action. Now I am going to create a separate audience as well, like now after uh, who have visited my contact test page, I am going to exclude that audience. In later on, uh, like how you can exclude the audience, so I'm going to create that audience as well. Now, my RLS, uh, my audience, uh, remarketing audience has been created. Now, what you have to do, you have to create a now, you have to go to. campaign and click on plus sign and you can go with the okay wait a minute i think we forgot something yeah audience source like uh, you are creating the audience uh, uh, list but uh, we need to set up the code as well you need to set up the remarketing code so google ads uh, remarketing code as well so we are going to set up that code to our website as well so you can set up the code by three option as previously in, as you have created the conversion tag itself and you can select the install the tag yourself by tag, uh, installing your code to by yourself you can set that code to uh, page of your each website or and uh, you can email as that to your web developer as well or you can set up that code to Google Tag Manager as well. So I am going to create that to my own self. So and you can also create remarketing audience by linking Google Analytics as well. Like you have to create Google Analytics account and you have to create that uh, uh, code to uh, for your website and you need to link both the Google Ads and Google Analytics. Uh, accounts together so that Google Analytics can send data to Google Ads as well. So that's how uh, remarketing tag you can set up. And now we need to create a different campaign. So I'm going to so I'm going to share you how you can create a different campaign. Yeah, that one the dis display campaign. You can just I'm going to share you how you can different create different uh, campaign like without selecting the goal display and uh, standard display and you can put your website as well oh that's how now 
यू कैन क्रिएट रिमार्केटिंग डिस्प्ले ओके यू कैन सेलेक्ट द थर्ड ऑप्शन मिडल ऑप्शन ऑल लैंग्वेजेज एंड मैक्स मैनुअल सी पी सी बजट इज माई हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड नाउ वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द ऑडियंस विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड लाइक रीमार्केटिंग यू कैन डू फॉर दोज विजिटर्स दोज लिस्ट विच हैव ऑलरेडी विजिटेड योर वेबसाइट and uh, i am going to tell you how you can select that you need to select click on browse and you need to click on how they have interacted with your business remarketing and similar audience and you can create website visitors like uh, uh, web page that uh, audience list we have all uh, created just now i am going to select that i am going to target those and uh, uh, you can do the bidding as well and you can create new responsive display ads as well you need to again submit the images or different uh, uh, video or different image you want to show you can select those here i'm going to select those now i'm going to select a logo as well like i am going to select that to logo and after selecting that to logo you can add headlines as well i am going to add headlines as well like this this is just an example i'm not going to uh, add uh, more time to research about the headline and description so you can just uh, need to create that to add group and that audience will be selected and more thing you can do if you have already created display campaign you can add that audience to uh, that campaign as well like this is one uh, display campaign which we have already created in previous module i am going to add the audience only that audience particular audience which we have created just now so i am going to add i am going to delete this audience oh first of all select that audience and i am going to unselect these audience i am going to browse and in similar website visitors yeah and uh, remarketing for previous visitors you can do for uh, which we have which uh, uh, visitors you they have not enrolled they have not uh, take taken action on your website or app and uh, you can show your converted audience as well you can show your different product or different services to that particular audience as well like uh, for example i am selling digital camera canon digital camera and uh, i got uh, 20 purchases for that uh, particular campaign then i can create a remarketing list for that particular purchase audience and i can uh, remarket different like uh, digital camera accessories as well to that particular audience that is the best strategy that we can use or you can uh, choose different uh, similar similar uh, product or similar services to that particular audience so that's how remarketing campaign works now i am going to sh uh, show you how you can create uh, rls as well remarketing list for search ads as well like uh, i need to go to uh, this one search campaign and i am going to share you how you can uh, add the audience to that campaign as well so you can uh, also Uh, show your ads to your search visitors search campaign as well so i am going to we have which have already visited okay now you can now you can see my search ads will show to that audience which we which uh, audience that have already 
uh, visited my website or app or video you can do the, that as well now what is what is customer match customer match uh, lets you use your online and offline data to reach and re-engage that audience to customers through search shopping gmail display and youtube uh, campaigns to collect that you, you know, customers to have shared with you and customer match will target audience or ads to those customers and customers like them like uh, we have previous customers data and we, we will upload that data to uh, remarketing list and audience source click on tools and setting click on audience manager click on audience source now you can set up uh, your linked uh, youtube data as well like uh, you have already created now i'm going to create audience list for audience list custom audience you can create that code is custom audience custom affinity audience as well remarketing audience i am going to create uh, upload customer list for that uh, there are some uh, eligible criteria which we need to follow i'm going to tell you what are the customer match uh, eligible criteria and uh, that are the like uh, a good history of policy compliance a good payment history and uh, at least 90 days history of google ads and more than fifty thousand dollar lifetime spend like you have to spend fifty thousand dollar to enable customer match option on your account and these are the criteria these are the criteria uh, like uh, big advertisers can afford that so and you can uh, select that uh, custom combination as audience as well like uh, these are the audience and uh, both uh, you can combinate that audience too as well and uh, you can also exclude that audience as well like this and you can create that audience as well like mix audience you can test th that audience as well you can create uh, multiple different type of audience uh, like click on plus and you can create app users as well like which uh, uh, app user they have downloaded your app through campaign you can show your ads to that particular app users as well you can show your youtube uh, users uh, as well you can show your already youtube subscriber youtube uh, viewers uh, to your ads that audience your ads and uh, yeah, like I already told you custom affinity audience custom affinity audience that uh, which have already interested in that particular audience you can create that audience as well like uh, just like in Facebook uh, we create custom uh, audience that is uh, called affinity audience uh, and uh, you can create custom intent as well which we are inter interested in search terms or search keywords you can target that audience as well so in that uh, particular model we have discussed about uh, rlsa display ads remarketing and now there is one more thing that uh, is similar audience similar audience what is that similar audience similar audience is a uh, targeting uh, feature that is based on a particular data files or most uh, commonly remarketing list this helps you to expand the reach of your per best performing audience by targeting new users with similar uh, interest or similar keywords uh, to your uh, websites so that is a similar audience and uh, you can create that similar audience by just yeah i'm going to show you how you can create that similar audience you can click on edit edit audience click your select your uh, add, add group and now browse and similar audience like that is the similar audience that is the remarketing list you can show or you can uh, target to similar audience as well so always prefer the, i always prefer that uh, if you are marketing for uh, already visited uh, users then you must have to exclude the already buyers already uh, action takers on your website or app or on your uh, video content 
यू मस्ट हैव टू एक्सक्लूड दैट और यू कैन टारगेट ऑल ओनली दैट बायर ऑडियंस बाय प्रमोटिंग डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट और बाय प्रमोटिंग डिफरेंट अप सेल और डाउन सेल प्रोडक्ट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर बायर ऑडियंस एज वेल दैट इज द बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर रीमार्केटिंग कैंपेन्स एंड रीमार्केटिंग कैंपेन वाई इट सो इम्पोर्टेंट इट इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज रीमार्केटिंग मीन्स इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग रीमार्केटिंग कैंपेन दैट मीन यू आर लिविंग मनी बिहाइंड द टेबल लाइक यू आर गिविंग यू आर वेस्टिंग मनी ऑन गूगल एड्स लाइक लाइक लेट्स एक एग्जाम्पल इफ वन पर्सन हैव विजिटेड माई शॉप फिजिकल शॉप एंड देर आर हंड्रेड पीपल कमिंग इन वन डे टू माई शॉप एंड आई एम गेटिंग आई एम सेलिंग माई प्रोडक्ट्स टू टेन पीपल एंड आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड नाइन्टी पीपल्स आर लेफ्ट वो हैव नॉट परचेज माई प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेज दैट मीन you are no targeting that 90 visitors you must have to target uh, you must have to follow up with that with those 90 uh, customers or clients uh, to achieve to increase your conversion rate to achieve more roi and uh, i am going to tell you one secret that uh, is uh, remarketing campaigns are cheaper than simple campaign like you are if you are creating simple search campaign if you are creating display campaign that mean they are higher in budget and they are uh, higher in bid quality they are getting more uh, money to show your ads and in remarketing campaign why it's so cheaper because uh, for remarketing if you are already providing the audience you are already providing Uh, like uh, google to what customers what type of customers or what uh, type of interest or what type of uh, customers you are want to target you want to achieve you want to achieve uh, to increase your roi to purchase or take action on your website so that's how uh, remarketing campaigns are cheaper than the simple standard campaigns so it's uh, all about uh, remarketing campaigns remarketing ads so let's go to the next module See you in the next module. Welcome back to the new module, fifth module in which we will talk about YouTube ads and uh, why it's so important. Uh, first of all, we need to know about what is YouTube. YouTube is a video search pl- platform of Google on which user can see, on which user can view any type of video any type video uploaded by different different uh, channels and uh, different educators and different marketers so users uh, can search and users can uh, see the video from suggested content as well and uh, youtube why it's so important youtube is the most popular social media for video content like it is the uh, most popular search engine as well after google and if youtube marketing is not part of your strategy then you are losing heavy customer base i can guarantee you that you must have to try youtube ads like if you are uh, trying facebook ads uh, then you must have to try youtube ads as well because youtube ads are more more cheaper than facebook ads and uh, youtube have some statistics like uh, statistics uh, like uh, 2 billion active users on youtube 50 million daily visitors on youtube and uh, 5 billion hours of uh, viewers uh, who watch uh, videos in a month and uh, uh, research says that uh, 42% shoppers use uh, video content on youtube to shop like uh, somebody is purchasing uh, on uh, somebody is purchasing uh, uh, something on internet that mean on out of the those purchaser 42% are using through video content on youtube and uh, sometimes uh, we we use in youtube ads like uh, cpv that is similar to cpc that we have already told about in first module cpc cost per click and for youtube ads the, like video ads uh, that is cpv c cost per view now Uh, like different similar to ctr click through rate in search ads in video ads that is view rate like uh, how many people uh, uh, are seeing your web uh, ad 
and uh, how many people your ads has been shown to that like how many impressions you are getting on that ad and how many people are viewing your ads that is how view rate works and uh, there are something uh, which we called about earn earned views like uh, by promoting ads by promoting video ads on youtube you can earn views from your videos as well for your youtube channels as well so so let's start the how we can create the youtube ads first of all we, before creating any youtube ads uh, we must have to know about what are the types of video ads like there are the main two different types of video ads two different types of video ads which are skippable video ads and inscapable ads like skippable ads uh, you can run to up to maximum uh, you can run up to any uh, there is no limit for skippable uh, video ads but for skippable uh, for unskippable like on that uh, particular video ads you cannot skip you cannot uh, skip that uh, ad to to uh, move to jump to your already watching content so uh, for that uh, unskippable uh, video ads there is a limitation of 6 second and 15 seconds of video length and uh, there are different types of uh, video ads that are stream ads video discovery ads discovery ads are uh, something called we call like so if you are scrolling down if you are discovering something content by searching or by scrolling uh, there will be discovery ads we will mm, can show uh, relevant to your content and uh, there is a non skippable in stream ads as well like if you are watching any video and uh, in between that uh, a video uh, jumps up video ad jumps up and uh, uh, that can be skippable or non skippable as well that are the different uh, stream ads which are skippable and non skippable and uh, there are bumper ads as well bumper ads are those uh, which uh, uh, like bigger advertisers used to uh, do like netflix and swiggy uh, they used to uh, just uh, show the uh, that bumper ads to youtube headline youtube main page like uh, if you can see there will be must uh, bumper ads so now uh, there is not any bumper ads so let's start the video and uh, we we will show you how you can create youtube ads and how audience importance and how youtube targeting you can do in your youtube ads so click on plus sign click on new campaign click on brand awareness or product consideration as well product consideration campaigns are those uh, that you are targeting for uh, like a uh, uh, warm audience that is not for cold audience but for brand awareness that is all uh, that is called cold audience so i'm going to create for brand consideration video campaign and i'm going i can create a influence consideration like you can influence the audience to take action on your uh, video to through your uh, through your video to your website or app and you can create ad sequence as well like you can uh, create multiple two ads uh, uh, for your audience and you can create shopping ads as well for uh, any if you have any shopping store or if you have any e-commerce store or dropshipping store so i am going to create without campaign i am going to show you how you can uh, select multiple uh, goals for without creating a goal type like if you have uh, unselected the campaign then you click on video and now you can see campaign subtypes campaign custom video subtypes in that you can create skippable in stream ads bumper ads and video discovery ads these are the three options you can create on custom video ads and uh, non skippable in stream ads in that you can create non skippable which will stream in between any video content or any other video or any other channel videos so that can uh, up to maximum 15 second and you can create out stream ads as well you that will Uh, reach up to only C- vcpm bidding that will reach up to outstream ads uh, through mobiles and tablets only and you can create drive conversion ads through video designs to encourage people to take action to interact uh, to your business or to take action on your website or or your ecom store you can create ad sequence as well that we have already told you you can create different multiple 
ads and uh, these will be uh, skippable and non skippable as well you can create bumper ads and mix of that as well ad sequence and you can create shopping ads as well that mean uh, uh, that uh, shopping can, uh, shopping video ad that can be promoted to up to um, different different uh, video content platform as well and a youtube platform as well so i am going to create a, a custom video campaign so now you click on continue and after clicking on continue I'm going to put up the budget like that is the bidding strategy I am going to click uh, with maximum CPV and uh, click on uh, put your budget like I'm going to add 110 rupees by 100 rupees by year. and my campaign must uh, I have to must uh, select the end date like when my campaign will end otherwise video content video ads will not run or you can select the daily budget as well I'm going to add 10 rupees budget for daily okay and you can select uh, if you are selecting daily camp daily campaign budget then you can uh, uh, you can avoid the end date selection as well now that is the main important factor you must have to unselect that video partners on display network like by selecting that option video partners on display network that means your ad can show up to vimeo platform daily motion platform or other video platform as well i'm not going to show my ads to those platform because i'm not aware about those uh, audience on that on those platforms like vimeo or daily motion so i'm going to go with the google search results like somebody searching for different uh, relevant to my audience or relevant to my keywords or relevant to my uh, channel or video uh, my ad will uh, show to particular those audience and uh, it can stream up into video youtube videos as well and here you can select the all languages or you can select the english language as well if you are targeting for english audience then you can select english language as well i'm going to select the uh, location india now that is the inventory what is inventory inventory uh, is that a particular feature we can show that to your uh, right people right brand like expanded inventory it means maximize available audience size in that inventory and standard inventory that means google will automatically analyze and uh, uh, that will exclude those uh, adult networks and uh, sexual content as well and limited uh, inventory it means uh, it will moderate that potential uh, profanity sexual content or suggestive content so i recommend you to use standard inventory for the first time then you can select the exclude audience as well like i am going to uh, i am not going to show uh, people who have embedded youtube videos on their website or on other platform apps as well so i am not going to show uh, my video as to these these types of audiences and I'm not going to show to that uh, so what is the addition setting you can select the conversion if you have selected for uh, shopping or any other type of lead platform or any other, or any other type of uh, conversion for go app promotion now you can select the targeting for eligible devices or you can select the targeting for only particular audience as well like i am going to target only mobile phones and you can select operating systems like this you want to target like uh, i am going to target only ios user or blackberry user i am going to target only cream audience only premium audience now you can select the model level as well like for ios only apple that uh, is the only option and you can select the network type as well like india for india you can select these uh, networks like uh, on that particular audience which network type they are choosing they are uh, using on their mobile phones you can target only particular that audience as well like i am not going to target the line geo or tata docomo you know or i'm going to if i my uh, like uh, if i'm promoting iphone x and that iphone x is uh, uh, already engaged with the uh, line geo uh, for purchasing 
for distribution purpose so i'm not going to target that a geo user because that geo user can, might not be interested in that my ad so i'm not going to target you can do uh, frequency capping as well you can do frequency for viewing you can uh, frequency capping for impression as well you so i'm going to target for cap view i'm going to target uh, only one day one view per one day for particular one audience for particular one person i'm going i can set uh, ad schedule as well like i i am not going to add the ad schedule here now that is the uh, uh, targeting uh, options we can use in youtube ads as well in particular in that uh, display ads uh, in previous model we have already discussed about demographic the audience and all other type of audience type, audience uh, we can use for display like same we can use in youtube ads so i'm going to target uh, like if I, my purpose is to uh, uh my purpose is to promote that particular video for my client company registration tax filling and these these things so i'm going to target uh, age selection that is 18 to 20 not 65 plus i can go with unknown as well but uh, i'm not going to target unknown lower 50 and top 50 top 10 percent you can select layer targeting by uh, separating that uh, audience size as well so who are interested in accounting accounting that is the my custom affinity audience that I, I already created accounting software tax verification audience financial jobs so you know on that particular uh, video content on particular video channels which are related to these categories audience in category only on those uh, video contents my ads will show so now you can create a, a set a keywords as well like if you, you are targeting for uh, if you want to target for uh, keyword selection you can go with keyword selection as well like if one searching if someone is searching for company registration on v youtube then uh, your ads will show up to that user and you can select the topics as well like same in the display we have uh, shown you how you can select the topics and placement as well. now for youtube video video uh, video ads the most important part is that placement like which youtube channels you can target uh, is uh, if i take example that is my company registration like accounting services and clients and uh, i'm going to target accounting so related to that uh, what are the channels i can go with and make sure that uh, there is one mistake some advertisers do like they uh, target similar placements but uh, they forget that uh, those particular uh, channels which are for outside outside india for outside uh, you are targeting location you can you are targeting those channels as well so that thing can waste your money for youtube ads so i'm not going to target for those uh, in outside india channels I can show labor low there is one channel that I can target labor low advisor that is Indian channel and I can target like business channels as well like my audience is uh, uh, those who do business for company and who do for uh, tax preparation and company planning and those I'm not going to target website apps or app categories but I can go with particular video as well like particular that video I can go with 589k views and I can go with that audience as well I can go with that audience that audience which are Hindi and makes audience for India I can go with that audience as well I can go with that audience. so these are the basic strategies you can use to use your audience and you can use your targeting uh, so you need to uh, set your bidding like start with the minimum bidding I am going to start with 5% uh, 
0.05 like uh, i am going to pay 5 paisa per view for viewing my ad to youtube <coughs> sorry dear viewer here you can paste that uh, your youtube video url and now you can select the skippable video stream ads i am going to create video skippable in stream ads so here now you can uh, again select and put that final url which you have presented now that is how you can create and here you can uh, upload your uh, thumbnail as well like if you don't want to show your uh, video thumbnail youtube video thumbnail then you can go with the different uh, custom uh, image to show your ad banner i am not going to create in that uh, ad banner so uh, i am going to select auto generate using videos from your channel it will show my thumbnail to uh, already created from video ad so yeah you can select the ad name as well i am not going to create that ad name that is the demo campaign that is how you can create the targeting that is how you can create the placement that you how can you create the audience for placements keywords and all the type now click on create campaign and how this is how that uh, youtube ads campaign you can create so now as you can see that ad is being reviewed by google team and uh, if that uh, ad is not being uh, approved for within 40 24 to 48 hours then you can uh, submit an appeal by clicking on that uh, help option question mark and leave feedback you can click on like uh, my video ad is not approved in 48 hours please review and approve my video ad. now you can show them to uh, now you can select that uh, uh, screenshot to the send to the google team as well that's how you can resolve that problem as well because for vi video ads uh, there is a, that is the most uh, uh, occurring problem in youtube video ads and that uh, that is how you can resolve that i already told you get click on leave feedback and click on send uh, feedback to that google team and in within 24 hours google will respond and uh, your ad will be uh, activated your ad will be approved now i am going to tell you how you can add something different uh, custom columns for like i am going to show you how you can add performance like uh, how many cpm every cpm you are getting how percentage of video or how um, 25% 55% of video they are watching how percentage of video is served viewable rate uh, what is viewable uh, impression rate and what is viewable ctr that is uh, i already told you that is view rate and you can create uh, conversion columns as well uh, you can create uh, attribution model to check the policy details if your video ad is being disapproved then you can uh, click on that uh, custom column and apply that then how you how that uh, policy detail will be uh, like if that your ad video ad is disapproved then it will show in that particular column policy details column that uh, how why it's not being approved so that's how you can select that uh, Uh, youtube ads to create uh, your conversions to improve your uh, conversions and to improve your purchase to improve your uh, to achieve your goal as well so that's uh, all about youtube ads so let's uh, meet in the next module so let's see in the next module welcome back to the new module in this module we will talk about google shopping ads like what are the shopping ads and how you can create how to set up merchant account how you can uh, create data feed how you can set up data feed how you can connect that data feed to your google merchant account how you need to create uh, product title description what are the optimization for images and pricing 
what is the campaign structure we need to uh, put in our shopping campaign and what are the bidding rules we need to consider in our shopping campaign so let's get started uh, first of all we need to know about what is shopping ad shopping is like gp or google product ads are shopping ads and uh, google shopping formally google product search or google products or for or it is a google service invented by the person named craig neville manning which allow users to search for products on online shopping website and compare prices between different different vendors like i am giving you example like here is my dslr camera and here are goes these are the shopping ads these are the sponsor listing which are the shopping ads and in the shopping ads here by clicking on that ad uh, user directly goes to that uh, particular page particular product page on that page a user can buy and check out and how it works in shopping ads we can list our image we can list our title we price we brand name as well now i am going to show you how how these are listed like this that is the canon image that is the product title that is pricing pro brand name on which uh, product or which store that product is advert being advertised and that is product description these are the specifications for like canon dslr 24 1.p crop sensor these are the uh, specific specifications about the products and uh, now first of all uh, before creating shopping ad we need to know about how shopping ads works like there are the two things uh, google merchant center and google adwords google merchant center is the inventory for uh, shopping products or shopping stores by which uh, google merchant center uh, it collects the data feed of your product of your store and uh, by that data, data feed that fetches into google shopping results and uh, in all the perspective uh, google merchant center is the key player in uh, displaying google shopping ads on their google search results so first of all we need to set up google merchant center so here we are going google merchant center yeah that is the google merchant center by clicking on that first page you need to create like get started i already created the campaign i already created the google merchant center account and uh, here it goes it will directly redirecting me to my already created uh, merchant center now by uh, directly signing up to the google merchant center first of all we need to set up uh, we need to click on settings and after that uh, add the business information like i'm going to advertise for this product uh, google uh, kipling usa on that particular product uh, we we are going to select laptop backpacks okay so on laptop backpacks we are going to select that particular bag and we will do everything for that product so by uh, business information you need to uh, display your business name as per the us norms and here now you need to put your address as well like select the address from the website if you can select the ad address from the website it will be more beneficial yeah so i'm going to put random uh, address for my website that like that is the uh, one client web web address and here it goes tally and i'm going to put some random numbers that is the demo for that you have to go for uh, now here i have to put my website url and here i have to put uh, my web, uh, customer service email as well and here i can select the 
phone number as well after clicking on save it will select the business information so it will select the customer service contacts as well and by clicking on website you need to verify your website like you are claiming that website i'm not going to verify that uh, claim uh, claim url uh, right now you can verify your website by clicking on the uh, add analytics account or tag manager account or uh, any other type of verification like you can put uh, a particular code to your website uh, address website uh, coding in each page or in any front page and by brand clicking on branding you can uh, upload your logo as well square logo rectangular logo here it will represent the your logo on the google shopping ad shopping results now that is the basic part that you need to uh, put basic information about your business now here we go shopping and returns now uh, if my product is being advertised in uh, uh, any type of uh, par any part of the world like i'm going to advertise this particular campaign in inr so here i am going to select the service area and here i am going to select india and inr currency delivery time what are the delivery times that uh, i am going to put times i have to select the my time zone select the indian standard time zone uh, that is kolkata and handling time order cut off time is that you need to put one to two days handling time select days monday to sunday transit time what transit time you are going to select one to three days select days monday to sunday now i have to select the minimum order value that is like uh, 2.99 for that shipping and uh, particular that shipping area shipping rates oh here i have to uh, select the service area like india shipping now i have to click on plus sign and uh, that will create a, a single rate for all orders like i am going to uh, free all the shippings for 299 above 299 products and shipping rate name free shipping click on continue click on con save and here it goes it uh, is already being displayed that in shipping service has been display to all the products now if you can select that this delivery zones then it will be more beneficial uh, that is not being required here and uh, we need to put the sales tax as well like uh, if you are providing sales tax uh, then i'm going to uh, not set up not setting up the google uh, tax setup in my account level so i'm not going to charge for any tax and uh, now you need to share, click on shopping ad setup after clicking on uh, ad setup you need to you need to click on shopping ad setup now clicking on shopping ad setup shipping has been already uh, set up we will uh, set up tax later and now um, by clicking this uh, page we will uh, verify the website url by putting up some code in my website coding as well my account is linked and uh, here it goes i'm going to select my account name link another account i'm going to unlink that account and i'm going to link one another account that is
cancel request yeah here it goes i need to put my google customer id 1717355770 that is the recommended that is a most important part that you need to link your google ad account to your google merchant center by not uh, linking that uh, google merchant center to your google ad account it means that uh, you are no uh, google merchant center is not sending data feed to that particular uh, ad account so here it goes we i have uh, already requested for i am going to check that if there is any uh, link a request from uh, after verifying that request uh, google merchant center will automatically uh, sending the data feed uh, data product details to that yeah details pending i will need to you can reject if you don't want to here it goes now that is linked and here it goes that i will also show the status as linked now that is linked our uh, google ad account has been linked to our merchant center now you can also uh, link your display video 3360 account and you can also google my business uh, account to that particular google merchant center to show the product shown google my business and you can also show the partners and you can also add the platform as well now i am not going to wasting time on my that i am going to click on shopping ad setup all the things has been done now adult content i am not going to display and i am going to select the text setup don't charge sales tax for any state that is my requirement and that is being set up you can see in the right corner in progress now here it goes google ads shopping ad setup now tax has been set up the product uh, website uh, after uh, verifying and claiming your website url uh, that uh, will be also removed and i am going to set up product data feed that is the key part of the google merchant center that is the key part of the google shopping ads that is the most important part of your shopping ads to perform and uh, to waste your money as well so i'm going to click on add primary field you can click uh, language in english i'm not going to show my ads on surfaces across google now click on continue you can create your data feed primary feed name as well like i'm going to keep link feed now here it goes it will automatically directing me to create a new data feed oh that purpose is blocked by the website now it will redirect to google sheets as well
now here you go you can open that the google sheet and i'm going to show you i have already created the data field why don't we have to waste the time like these are the categories uh, these are the columns you need to put like id is your uh, specific uh, uh, identifier to your product and that is your title what a uh, product uh, you are going to advertise for the title and uh, that is the product description that is linked to your uh, product page that is your condition new old or out stock and uh, uh, that is new or old and that is the price in INR or USD currency that is availability in new or auto stock image link GTIN that is global uh, identifier company is a manufacturing product number brand name what you also on Google product category now I'm going to show you how you can like I'm going to show you KP1 is my KP1 is my product ID like uh, Kipling USA 1 is my product ID I am going to copy paste that to setting link and I'm going to also show you how you can image link copy image address and you can click uh, set up that image link in that image link column now uh, most important part here we need to create title for product and uh, description as well title and description uh, here in Google Merchant uh, Center feed are like uh, you are putting title for uh, your uh, uh, product uh, title product description like uh, as you do in SEO like I'm going to create the title sales for see all last 15 that is my product title That is my product title that somebody is looking for CO large 15 laptop, uh, laptop bag or CO backpack. My ad will show up to that user. Now, here it goes. What is that uh, product is all about? Iconic features, goal, and so on. Yeah, that is your that can be your description as well. and uh, availability condition i already put the link and now I have to click uh, put the condition like th that is new or old that is new i'm not going to show in usd what is that 119 and that is in or you can like i'm going to select the inr currency as i've already selected my google merchant center account as an inr and uh, in that particular location i think uh, that uh, kipling us is not uh, providing services not providing products to deliver so i'm just going to that is your product price that uh, as uh, same you have to put like your price and uh, currency and availability that is in stock uh, one more thing I am going to uh, give you one thing that is a key pulling now here is the most important part that is Google product category GTI number and MPN and brand name that is already provided by your manufacturer or that is already providing by uh, your supplier like uh, your supplier will tell you about the GTI or MPN number I am not going to put that GTI and MP number in India without GTI and MP number Google shopping ads can be advertised but in USA you need to put your MPN or GTI number uh, must and uh, here it goes Google product category in google product category what is that google product category that is your product category type 
for that uh, google pro product category you need to go to like what what is the backpack category and how it was so you need to go to google google search on google google taxonomy and after clicking on that there will be some txt file on the first page first result and in that uh, in that text file you can search backpack like that are the backpacks and uh, that is laptop laptop uh, screen replacement i'm going to see if it is possible that i'm i can put laptop back category but i don't think that is available so laptop batteries laptops laptop docking stations laptop so i'm going to put backpack categories that is category you can set up that category or you can set up that uh, you can set up that uh, particular category or you can set up that particular category code as well and i'm going to show you how you can here it goes that is google product category now after clicking on that uh, click on save control s or in mac command s and after clicking on that you can close that and now here it goes you can click on first feed and i'm going to fetch that feed, feed as well i'm going to fetching that feed and after fetching up that feed it is uh, going to display if uh, there will be any error in feed or in any other other product category or any other product uh, column it will show here diagnostics here it will show item issue or product issue or account issue if uh, like there is an account issue website not being claimed uh, you need to verify your uh, website url before running any ad before running any products so i'm not going to verify because that is not my website now i think that has been fast that is being still processed after that uh, the uh, that processing has been done now you need to go to your campaign so you can click on plus sign you need to click on new campaign you need to click on any other option but this one option sales campaign or you can go with without creating the com campaign and shopping ads as well now here it goes i'm going to select the so sales and shopping ads now after approving my feed it will show india and uh, uh, there will be one product like i have already created only one feed for one product then it will show only one product for each product you need to create uh, separate uh, columns in that feed and uh, these these are the two option like uh, one option is smart shopping campaign and one option is uh, standard shopping campaign smart shopping campaign will be enabled when you have uh, already getting conversions uh, like minimum 20 conversion then after after that uh, smart shopping campaign option will be enabled so i'm going to select standard shopping campaign click on continue now here it goes uh, you need to create your campaign name as well like i'm going to create Okay, keeping USA. You can select uh, optimize for conversions or not. I'm not going to select the optimize for conversions. I'm going to select maximize clicks because uh, I need to and set the maximum cost per bid as well. Like I'm going to show my uh, shopping ads in within thirty rupees maximum bid. and you can also create a portfolio strategy that we'll talk about later now you need to set up your budget for shopping campaign i recommend you to use uh, multiple like if you are uh, if you are advertising one product that means uh, uh, if uh, you are advertising one product and uh, 
your average CPC bid is about 50 rupees then you need to create at least 20 clicks at least 20 clicks per day budget as well so I'm going to create randomly 2000 budget and uh, if you are uh, creating multiple shopping campaign then you can click on these options but by default uh, that is low and recommended if you have already one shopping campaign no if you have already uh, creating multiple campaigns for in one account then you can select uh, any particular campaign to the higher priority to show that uh, particular campaign to show ads in that campaign so here i am going to unselect that option because i'm not going to display you my shopping ads to youtube gmail and discover discover content as well and here it goes i have to select that option you need to cons uh, consider that uh, you need to select middle option in all type of campaigns like uh, the search ads display ads lead ads or any other rls or display ads or remarketing ads as well after clicking on that i'm not going to select the end date click on continue and how it goes you can set a product shopping like it will create a single product ad and it will create a multiple uh, product ad as well multiple product ad for multiple product ad you have to select all the inventory from your uh, ads as well so i'm going to select a single product category like i'm going to uh, show my product single uh, ads for single product and here it goes i am creating laptop backpack after clicking on save my campaign has been created now I, how it looks like that is being under review and after uh, uh, approving my data feed and that is the main like i have to verify that uh, option without uh, verifying that option it will uh, my uh, google product feed uh, merchant feed will not be approved and uh, if my merchant feed, feed will not be approved then my ads will be disapproved so i have to verify that website url as well so that's how you can create shopping ad now uh, i'm going to show you how you can set up a google conversion code for shopping ads now you have to click on tools and settings that is a key factor part of google shopping ads for click on conversions and click on plus sign click on website click on sales like purchasing what uh, what i'm going to uh, uh, this type of conversion action i'm going to track i'm recommending you to use multiple uh, like mi micro data conversion uh, categories as well because uh, like if you're creating for uh, if you're creating separate conversion tags for purchase add to cart begin checkout that mean you are tracking uh, customer for each each step like if customer is uh, uh, adding your product to add to cart it is being tracked and after that uh, being check out it is being tracked and after purchase it is being tracked so you can check like how many customers are uh, checking out how many customers are add, adding uh, product to the cart uh, how many customers are purchasing your product so here i am going to randomly uh, select the purchase option you can check the uh, different value for each conversions or if you are uh, advertising only one product then means you can select that option as well and here it goes that product value was 199 119 dollar i think higher 119 dollar and count uh, select the count option as every like each purchase is being counted and select the conversion window to 30 days for starting the campaign and uh, view through conversion raise it is one day select the attribution model is last click but after uh, getting few conversions you can select the uh, first click as well and after getting multiple conversions you can select the 
data driven conversion ela as well like uh, google will automatically optimize your campaign to data driven attribution model now i going to click create and continue ne here you can set up your conversion code by three uh, type of method install the tag yourself for emailing the that tag to your website developer or by google tag manager you can set up that code to your website by clicking on that uh, add your that code to your each page and add this code to after purchase page now here is one thing that i am going to share with you like uh, many of you are doing shopping ads or many of you are doing drop shipping or willing to start drop shipping business as well you are going to start e-commerce as uh, e-commerce business as well so for that shopify or for that big commerce i am going to share you secret conversion code that you need to put like that code uh, is not being tracked the uh, your google uh, ads conversions like that is uh, google is not going to record uh, by that code so i am going to share with you secret code that you need to put in your web, uh, shopify store or shopify website here is the one thing guy the these are the things that uh, are uh, your so i'm going to show you how that is being changed like that is your google ad customer id that is your google ad tag manager customer id that is google ad customer id replace this id to that id okay now that is the separate code that is your conversion code in event code and that is uh, your sent to a, this has to be replaced with this one you can see on the screen this one and after that uh you can set uh, you can leave all the things in that uh, event code and you need to dis uh, replace these things that thing here to that and you need to replace that thing you need to replace that thing you need to replace that thing with your own conversion code that is all basic thing and that is all uh, secret about the google shopping conversion most people don't track uh, or don't uh, set up the uh, conversion code with the correct information or or correct way that's why i have shared with you now after creating the campaign the most important part is that uh, you need to optimize your products like you need to optimize your product title so you need to optimize your product description or you need to optimize your images and pricing so i'm going to share you how you can optimize your production how you can optimize your product uh, title description images and all the things click on feed click on my google feed and here we go like in product uh, there there is one formula like brand name plus specification or size plus category plus sub category here you can see on the screen col is the brand name large 15 is the specification of your uh, backpack and laptop backpack is the category and you can add sub category as well if you have uh, sub category of that product and in description write the description write the words about your describing your product in the description add your keyword add your main searching keyword to the description line and for image you need to optimize your image like uh, i am going to show you how you can optimize image
as you can see on the screen there are multiple shopping ads and uh, as you can see on the screen that image is being displayed from left side and these are from the front side and the background is uh, white background is transparent that is the basic thing basic thing to optimize your image from product product feed like uh, image should be clear image should be from the front line image should be from uh, image uh, must be transparent or image uh, image must have representing the correct product like uh, if you can say that uh, canon camera can be dis uh, canon camera image can be displayed as uh, from side and uh, from that side image it is not uh, displaying that it is cam canon camera or it is eos camera or it is 1500d camera so these are the things that you need to optimize for image and after optimizing for image you need to optimize price like you as you can see on the screen that is the uh, 1000 price i th don't think that is genuine i don't think that is genuine oh that is for renting purpose as you can see on the screen flipkart is providing in 22990 and if there is similar product we can go with 300 3000d d3550 300d that the flipkart is displaying 2209 th 22990 rupees and Flipkart is also displaying the same with add-on lens that is being displayed for 29,999. So these are the basic things to optimize for pricing like if Amazon is displaying that product for 24,000 then you can go with for 23,450 or any some discount uh, because in every audience in every targeting in every location in every country in each city all the advertisers must check pricing from their computers like if i'm purchasing any uh, any anything any camera any mobile uh, online then i'm going to check amazon i'm going to check flipkart or i'm going to check uh, walmart as well uh, that are the basic things that uh, we need to check uh, about uh, imaging and pricing now one more thing in a shopping campaign that uh, how you need to create how you need to set up campaign structure um, i'm going to share you secret tip to campaign structure like one product one ad one ad group in each ad group there will be one ad and there will be one product that is the basic and optimized campaign structure for any shopping ad how you can do that like if you are targeting multiple campaign multiple products then how you can do that you can go to your you can uh, you can uh, advertise all the products all the You can advertise all the things, uh, all the products to, uh, within one ad group, within one campaign and after getting results from that, that campaign, after uh, getting best perform, after getting the pro profitable product, uh, profitable converting product, then you can create separate campaign for that particular product. For all the product, you can create campaign structure and that's how we scale our shopping campaign as well now shopping account is to create one campaign and add one ad group then you can divide your product groups out as well how you can do that i am going to share you how you can do that you need to click on your campaign uh, you need to click on product ad group and you can click on plus sign add a subdivision you can add the item id and how all the products will be displayed 
and uh, all the products will be displayed by item id and how you can subdivide that so that's how we divide or we divide uh, one ad group into subgroups as well that is the um, all about camp uh, google shopping ads and google shopping campaign creation so let's meet in the next module welcome back to the new module this is the seventh module in which we will talk about how to optimize our campaigns how we can optimize our campaigns to get uh, more ROI, to get more results more conversion more sale more leads and more traffic as well so there are a few basic things that i am going to tell you first one is that daily you need to uh, you can optimize your campaign as per the daily level like you can check your campaign you can check your search results you can check your keywords you can add negative keywords uh, in 24 hours uh, daily in the morning or in the evening after running your ads or in the before running your ads you can daily optimize your ads as well and you can also set up automatic uh, tools as well automatic rules as well that uh, you can select i am going to tell you how you can do that so i am going to select that campaign and here we go click on more create an automated rule now there you can create enable post campaign change and group or send email i'm going to send email like i'm going to uh, create an automated email when my uh, campaign budget is out of reach or when my uh, conversions are being converted so here we go click on all enable campaigns condition yeah click on the conditions like i'm going to collect uh, cost when my cost is uh, greater than 400 or 490 it will send my send me an email like uh, it will send me email to up to Four forty-five, same day. Four forty-five for four, as per according to your send in email budget greater than five hundred four ninety-nine. That's how that rule will work. You can set that automatic rule to like pause the ad groups or pause the change the ad groups, change the bidding. Like uh, I'm going to share you how. if clicks are being greater than 10 or greater than 100 apply that rule and add one condition as well like uh, conversions conversions are not getting less than one that means uh, you are getting 100 clicks but not getting conversions then uh, my ad groups will be paused pause ad group here you can to these automated rules by creating uh, on automated rules as well so there how you can create daily alerts and daily optimization now after a daily optimization you can create a weekly optimization as well weekly optimization how it work it is the most powerful action that you know can uh, uh, convert or uh, uh, move the right track uh, to because uh, weekly routine can be cannot be keep consistency like uh, if my advertiser is paying uh, uh, one thousand dollar in one week then you can optimize for uh, each week each weekend you can optimize for that i'm going like it totally depend upon your budget as well like if you if your budget is 500 per day you can optimize for daily if your campaign budget is for 100 then you can go for weekly optimization as there uh, there must be and there must be specific data about the product that there must be specific data about that campaign so after that only uh, you can optimize for weekly as well and you can optimize for monthly as well you can uh, optimize monthly uh, about your search term about your negative keywords you can set up negative keywords and uh, you can uh, set up uh, 
different ad groups or different ad extension you can set up different bidding strategies by monthly level as well you can check the filter as level as well and uh, you can also uh, you can also go with the attribution model like you can go with the different uh, conversion model as well after uh, optimizing your campaign within a, within a month now i'm going to share you few tips uh, how you can optimize your campaign like this one this is the one campaign that we have created in first module search search ad now i'm going to show you how you can add negative keywords i want to see how search terms we start the search terms that jobs i am not going to provide so put that negative keyword into jobs so how it goes and uh, like it is getting 0.47 ctr it means that uh, these are the ads uh, are being displayed these are the keywords for that uh, particular ad keywords the, my ads are being displayed and i am getting 5 rupees cpc for these keywords like uh, this campaign was set up to recently and that's why that is not getting some data so you can go to certain search terms as well you can uh, put uh, unrelevant search terms to your negative keywords as well you can uh, check the devices as well like which devices are not get, getting good conversions and uh, you can check the demographic level as well like if you're uh, if which type of audience uh, is being converted which type of audience is uh, uh, clicking on your ad you can optimize that as well and uh, here landing page here it it shows like uh, how mobile friendly click rate and how vmp level click rate how mobile speed score so it uh, show all the landing pages of your campaign as well and uh, you can also uh, optimize campaign by location level as well like i'm going to share you how click on add you can optimize for different cities you can optimize for that level as well and you can filter that uh, for for these types of like if which which one is getting uh, clicks above on less but not getting convert not getting conversions within 7 days then you need to post that uh, you need to stop uh, displaying ads to that particular location or if uh, if any keyword is uh, getting clicks uh, above 100 or above uh, 10 then you need to stop that uh, keyword as well you need to post that keyword as well and if you, any keyword is getting uh, greater than 1000 impression but not uh, getting any clicks then you need to optimize your ads as well like uh, uh, your ad is being displayed but not being clicked like your ad is not relevant to your ad is not up to that mark uh, by user search terms then you need to change your ad strategy your ad copy as well so these are the few basic tips about uh, optimization of your campaign so let's meet in the next module welcome back to the seventh module in which we will talk about how to scale your campaign how to scale your advertising goal to achieve more roi to achieve your target to achieve your goal to meet your requirements uh, uh, from the client or customer so <coughs> i'm going to share you how you can do that uh, for scaling Google Ads, you need to consider a few things like uh, when to scale. Uh, if you are getting greater than 20 conversions, then you have to scale. If you are getting less than 20 conversions, then <coughs> sorry, you don't have to scale. You have to optimize your campaign. If you are getting more than 20 conversions, then you can scale. But for that also, 
for different uh, campaign types for different ad types uh, i set up the scaling project like uh, for shopping ads you can create sub divisions like uh, you can create the product ad groups and for each ad group you can create separate campaigns like uh, you have already uh, achieved a converting product or a converting category product then you can create a separate campaign for that product or category and increase your budget to 20 to 30 percent when that budget is going to limited then when that budget is uh, going to exhaust within seven day then you have to increase that your budget to 40 to 50 percent and so on in that 10 to 20 ratio 10 to 20 percent budget ratio that's how you can do that scaling and uh, if uh, that is all about shopping ads and in shopping ads as well when you have uh, when you got your uh, converting product then you can create separate search campaign for uh, search ads as well and you can create display campaign uh, I'm going to recommend you to create separate display and create separate uh, search campaign as well uh, that's wh uh, why I am recommending you de to do that thing that is because uh, for sh from shopping ads from shopping campaign you have already got your converting system as well like from which keyword from which system your uh, audience is getting conversions like your product is get, um, getting converted so you can create for that uh, separate search campaign and you can go for, go with that for display campaign as well and i also recommend you to use separate remarketing campaign as well with at least 100 conversions i recommend you to uh, get at least 100 conversions then you can go with remarketing ads i strongly recommend you to uh, use remarketing ads but before uh, 100 conversions i don't recommend you to go with remarketing ads because remarketing ads uh, always perform with the better data more data if uh, more data more purchase funnel is being created then remarketing ads will get good conversions and in less amount that's how shopping ads can be scaled and for search ads for search ads you can go with the sksg uh, campaign type like sksg what is sksg sksg is single keyword in single ad group like in a in one ad group there will be one keyword one main keyword one converting keyword one uh, keyword that is uh, getting maximum traffic then you can go for SKSG and uh, single ad as well why I am recommending you to say use single ad because after testing two to three ads then you can go with single ad ads as well like uh, you have already got converting best performing ad then you can go with single ad and single keyword as well and also add negative keywords and exclude audience if you are displaying for rls as well remarketing list for search ads as well and also duplicate the campaign with 30 to 40 percent budget as well that's how search ads can be scaled and uh, you can uh, also test different ads uh, with uh, creating different uh, experiment and with uh, creating different ad draft as well with different ads and different system that's how search ads can be scaled for display and youtube ads uh, we need to analyze the asset like which uh, uh, like uh, for display or for youtube ads uh, which video is performing which asset is performed which image or banner which headline or which uh, uh, description is getting good uh, conversion good uh, performance then we can go with that uh, separate asset or separate video to duplicate that uh, campaign to 30 to 40 uh, percent in budget and create the set standard campaign for display and create the separate youtube video to get more conversions that's how scaling is being done in google ads uh, i strongly recommend you to duplicate the campaign when you are scaling like uh, don't uh, create a separate campaign or don't create a uh, 
don't uh, increase the budget in that separate uh, in that particular uh, campaign like uh, if i'm uh, putting b- budget for uh, campaign for a one p- one campaign like 500 inr and then i am going to increase that so how scaling is not done i strongly recommend you to duplicate the budget duplicate the campaign with higher budget like uh, first time i am going to put the budget 500 then i am going to de- duplicate that campaign with 30 to 40% budget that's how scaling works and if you duplicate the campaign with more than 100 more than uh, 200% budget increment then google uh, algorithm will uh, review your campaign uh, again and uh, will review your ads will review your ca- keywords as well and uh, it can go up to 2 to 3 days 24 to 72 hours to review or add to review your campaign as well that's how scaling is being done in google ads so that's all about scaling about uh, scaling with google ads let's meet in the next module welcome back to the eighth module welcome back to the eighth module in which we will talk about how to boost our roi how to increase your conversion rate so i am going to share you how you can increase your conversion rate first of all we need to know about how what is conversion rate conversion rate is that uh, uh, for particular product for particular uh, service you are advertising for particular uh, service you are advertising in which uh, average number of sales divided by goals achieved per click like uh, i'm getting 100 clicks and uh, i'm getting one sale that means the one percent is my conversion rate and that's how conversion rate works for conversion rate ppc conversions uh, for search ads minimum it uh, it is three percent for display ads uh, it is 0.5 percent uh, to increase your conversion rate we need to focus on few things like we need to create better landing page for better landing page um, by me i mean like uh, la- on landing page uh, that should be mobile responsive that should be effective to display your uh, product or service that di- uh, that uh, clearly visible to your uh, call to action that clearly visible to your content that clearly visible to optimized by your k- images or videos or particular content that you are advertising for particular product or uh, service you are advertising for that uh, content uh, must be relevant to your product or service that's how landing page must be worked and uh, i strongly recommend you to add a pop-up form or fill up form for lead creation for shopping ads i strongly recommend you to use the checkout or buy page landing page for your advertising product okay so create the better landing page improves always conversion rate and uh, after that uh, we must have to analyze and optimize the purchase funnel like how purchase funnel works uh, how purchase funnel works like uh, uh, if you are uh, targeting good uh, relevant keywords that means uh, your ad will display and if you're targeting good ad copy that means your ad is being clicked and if your ad is being clicked that means you have to create best landing page within your competitors and you have to display your feature so you have to do display your benefits uh, i am going to differentiate uh, within with two things like uh, benefits and features like features are the product and f- benefits for the customer benefits for the purchaser for the lead form filler or what service or what product they are looking for so always display always show the benefit don't display the features always display the benefit in particular uh, analyzing the funnel after that create a relevant landing page after creating that landing page create relevant ad copy as well like if your ad is not uh, relevant to that particular keywords that mean your keywords are not being triggered to display the ads if you have already improved your ads and uh, landing pages and keywords that mean your quality score will be improved and that's how quality score need to be improved if your quality score is being improved that mean your ad rank is being uh, getting more and more results in in form of traffic and in form of less cost 
invest on remarketing always recommend you to use the remarketing ads as well like if you are not doing remarketing that mean you are leaving the customers uh, uh, you are leaving the customers uh, to grab the conversion to attract the to take action on your website or apps or your video content choose the right ma a keyword match type i strongly recommend you to use keyword match types like i already told you four keyword match type broad match type uh, phrase match type exact match types now i am going to share you few things as well there are the few keyword types as well not match types keyword types as well like uh, there will be some purchase keywords like uh, buy dslr camera buy canon camera that are the purchase keywords buy purchase or canon 100d uh, 200d cost that is uh, or price that is purchase keyword and uh, there are some informational keyword as well like uh, canon 200d specification canon 200d requirement canon 200d uh, features that are the uh, informational keywords and uh, what are the brand keywords like canon 200d that's only the brand keyword canon dslr camera that's the brand keyword and uh, if i will talk about uh, there are some few transactional keywords as well what are the transactional keywords like where to buy canon 200d amazon 200d that are the buying keyword with brand keywords as well these are the few keyword types as well so always recommend you to use those keywords which are relevant to your audience like what your audience is looking for now filter out the negative keywords if you are not filtering out the negative keywords uh, that mean uh, uh, your ad is being clicked uh, with unrelevant uh, search terms as well uh, your ad is being displayed to unrelevant search users like if someone is lo looking for the, to canon 200d uh, refurbished then uh, and uh, you are targeting uh, audience for new dslr camera that mean that uh, particular audience that particular users are not uh, getting conversions that that are not being getting converted so always use the filter to negative keywords use the exciting offers like if your competitor is targeting the same price same thing and in the same delivery time then why why the purchaser will go with your website why will the purchaser will go with your store why will uh, purchaser will go with your product so i strongly recommend you to uh, add the exciting offer like 20% off uh, free shipping like uh, one plus one for apparel category or for any other any uh, other small value small uh, order size value category products and uh, use the exciting offers to st uh, stand out alone from your competitors target your competitors top keywords like if your competitor is targeting like uh, uh i'm going to share you a few things like uh, there is a one uh, marketing tool prof profly profly uh used for uh, use used to show social proofs on your websites like how many people are con uh, visiting your website how many people are getting converted if someone is uh, uh, click uh, visiting your web page then profly show how many people are uh, buying that pro particular product or buying your service or visiting your web page then your comp uh, then how it will work pro i am going to use the profly competitor brand names as well brand keywords as well like uh, activation and other competitor keywords as well like uh, if i if uh, i am going to create a campaign for uh, uh, like uh, fog deodorant then i am going to target uh, other for hitman other other deodorant or other uh, products as well other competitors brand names as well so always target the competitors top keywords that's how how you can improve the conversion rate so that's uh, all about the how you can improve your conversion rate and uh, how you can increase your uh, roi as well so let's meet in the next module welcome back to the last module in which we will talk about uh, what problems we are going to face with google ads and how we can recover from those problems as well like uh, these are the few problems i have listed like i have already faced these problems 
but uh, i am going i have already re- um, overcome with these problem problems by doing experimenting by getting mentorship from my few seniors as well so what is the first problem we are going to face with account ban like we our google ad account is being suspended for payment purpose circumventing purpose and uh, for misrepresentation purpose or for violating the terms and policies so that is the system part that in that uh, you cannot do anything like if account is being suspended from google side that mean it can go with the two results like it is being suspended uh, with some error or with some by mistake or it, or you have violated uh some policies or some terms and conditions according to the google policies so for account ban like it, there are the two to three main reasons like payment issue and uh, circumventing and uh, misrepresentation for payment issue it means that you are not using your own payment method and uh, or for payment issue you you are not uh, <coughs> using verified payment method or you are not using uh, you or you are using uh, uh, payment method from the different location and you are uh, creating di- uh, account from different uh, location like different country as well that can result into uh, payment uh, suspension and uh, for circumventing issue that mean you are cheating with the customer you are cheating with the google uh, advertising al- bot as well google advertising algorithm as well it means uh, circumventing all uh, clearly represents that uh, you are uh, going to re- cheat with google system how you can or you are going to cheat with that system it means that uh, uh, some previous details some previous account some previous billing details some previous account uh, website or billing detail or phone number or address is being matched with that new account that's why account is being suspended due to circumventing issue and after that uh, misrepresentation issue it means that your business is misrepresenting to the customers like is uh, your business is not the right or according to that uh, particular campaign type or particular goal type particular website type uh, type as well that's why it uh, it can go into misrepresentation policy so for account ban for payment issue and for circumventing issue you can appeal for that like payment issue there are the chances that 90% chances that you can uh, recover that account but for circumventing there are 50% chances that you cannot recover that account and for re- misrepresentation there are the almost uh, maximum chances that you are not going to uh, uh, recover that account or your your account is not going to unsuspended from google system for second problem that is keyword research for keyword research uh, some people always uh, go with the low short term keyword like uh, some people will go with the higher uh, monthly searches and broad keywords uh, uh, why they do why they do so because they don't give with the audience perspective like uh, they don't go with the customer perspective like what customer is searching for they don't uh, research about that and they don't uh, go with their budget as well like if my budget is less and why i'm going to go with uh, broad keyword and why i'm going to go with uh, uh, higher monthly searches volume on higher monthly search volume for brand keyword there will be maximum chances that uh, uh, higher competition as well so always go with the long tail keyword for small budget always go with the higher budget uh, with broad match modifier or phrase keywords always research about your keyword always research about your audience perspective that what your audience is going to uh, search for particular ads so i strongly recommend you to use spyfu or google keyword planner to research about google keywords so third problem is that your ad is uh, under review like um, i already uh, shown you that uh, in display module uh, my ads are under review within uh, from last 24 to 48 hours then how you can do that you can click on the question mark symbol and you can uh, leave feedback 
and you can submit your uh, request uh, you can submit your screenshot that my ad is being uh, my ad is being reviewed uh, from last 48 hours and uh, it is not getting approved so please uh, review the uh, ad asap and thanks in advance that's how you can uh, request the uh, google manual team so that is being that uh, ad is under review and uh, if after that ad is approved but not getting displayed that mean your ad account is under review like your ad is approved but account is under review these are the two different things like ad is approved within uh, one to two hours for search ad for 24 hours for display ads but not getting displayed why it is not getting displayed because your account is being reviewed and uh, um, for that particular time for review process your ads will not be displayed so for that you can go to google support team chat support phone support or email support and request them to uh, approve your account or uh, get a getting out of your review process so you can uh, also wait for two to three days it is if it is being uh, reviewing by uh, from first time then you can wait for two to three days after uh, ad is getting displayed then you are getting problem for traffic like you are not getting traffic you are not getting enough traffic you are not getting enough uh, good traffic as well that mean that is also mean due to related to bidding strategy that is related to your bid as well that is related to your quality score as well that mean your ad or keyword is not relevant that mean your ad or bid is not relevant like you have to bid more your uh, bid is low that's why you're uh, you are not getting enough conversion that you are not getting enough traffic and after getting traffic the uh, next problem is that you are not getting conversions if you are not getting conversion but getting good traffic that mean your traffic is not relevant to that product or your landing page or your ad is not relevant to that particular product or service that's why conversion is not being displayed conversions are not getting so you can recover by optimizing your campaign or by optimizing your ads by optimizing your keywords by optimizing your landing page as well after that getting conversion but not counting like uh, you are getting purchases but uh, in conversion window conversion uh, section you are no uh, your uh, conversions are not being recorded then what you have to do that problem occurs when you have not set up the conversion tag correctly that that mean you know, you have set up the conversion code incorrectly most people do one thing like for purchase uh, for shopping ads uh, there will be two separate codes for uh, one is uh, uh, one co first one first code is one first code we have to set up on each each web page and the second event snippet code that is being set up to the thank you page after checkout page or after lead form page most people do one thing they combine both the codes and put the all the all the pages that's why they are uh, conversions are not being counting so you can solve this problem by doing that thing now after uh, getting conversions uh, there will be separate uh, few problems as well like uh, uh, people can uh, start getting confusion in bidding strategy like which bidding strategy they have to use for bidding strategy i strongly recommend you to use manual cpc like for manual cpc for first time cre campaign creation go with the manual cpc for low budget go with the manual cpc after that you can go with the if uh, you don't want to track you don't want to get uh, conversions you don't want to get uh, sales you don't want to get uh, leads then you can go if you are uh, if your main goal is to get uh, only traffic then you can go with the maximize clicks and set up your maximum cost per bid as well cost per click bid as well co like bid cap as well uh, then you can go with the maximize conversions as well it means in maximize uh, conversions in that particular budget your ad will be getting maximize conversions as much as possible uh, google can show your ads to get more conversions and uh, for uh, cpa marketing i strongly recommend you to use target cpa uh, in which that uh, cost per action 
bid is being displayed you have to put the cost per action bid like in particular 150 amount i am going to getting uh, action as well as getting acquisition as well that's how target cpa and you can also set up a target rvs as well when you have got uh, maximum minimum 50 conversions and maximum 20 200 conversions then you can go with the ROS conversion like I'm getting getting 5% uh, ROS and 10% uh, ROS for that particular budget in particular product category then you can go with the breeding strategy these types of so after that uh, uh, people confusion audience research why people confuse in audience research because people confuse in audience perspective like they only target marketing perspective they don't uh, think with the audience perspective like where or where their audience is what their audience do what audience uh, is doing what or their audience is behavior what their audience is interested in and what their audience is doing for your products or for your uh, services if you have already uh, research about your audience or if you already research about your audience types so already pers audience perspective then after uh, after that you have no confusion you have no uh, separation from audience perspective and you can go with the audience perspective never go with the marketing perspective always go with the marketing marketing perspective when you are going for brand awareness or product consideration awareness goal i strongly recommend you to use audience perspective not the marketing perspective audience perspective is the key factor in getting good conversions in low budget and uh, marketing perspective is the key factor in getting more and more brand awareness after that uh, people confusion scaling with high budget like people uh, started uh, get, getting good conversions like 20 to 30 con uh, conversions per day and after that uh, they confuse in like how do the scale with high budget they confuse with that so i strongly recommend you to watch my previous module previous video about how you can boost your ROI in which I already told you how you can scale with the budget as well and uh, after uh, watching that video there will be no confusion with high budget scaling so that's all about the problems we face in Google Ads and uh, that's all about Google Ads mastery course so I hope uh, you have enjoyed the course uh, you have all uh, you have you are going to implement these strategies in your marketing campaigns in your google ads campaign in your google ads clients campaign for getting um, good client result good client acquisition good client satisfaction so i uh, best of luck uh, for your future with google ads so that's from my side from uh, ravi nirban with google ads master course thank you so much for buying this course let's meet you in the q and a q a with the facebook group or whatsapp group as well you can always you can anytime uh, ask any question any problem you are facing any query in the whatsapp group or in the facebook group as well so thank you so much for joining the course i strongly recommend you to watch the all the videos implement the, all the videos and get the best results get the best actions for your clients for your own business so best of luck from my side thank you so much